to God. Here we are. It's Spark on Fire and Water Ministries. And I have such an amazing, amazing time planned out for you guys tonight. I've got some five amazing guests. I had I had only planned to have a total of five on here tonight, but I've got a total of six. And uh, this is going to be phenomenal. I'll tell you what, when I was talking to one of my guests tonight, and she was saying that when the enemy comes against something, it means that God is up to something big. God's up to something bigger. And so, Lord, I thank you for the, I thank you for the, I just want to glorify God for the attack of the enemy on this broadcast tonight. I just glorify you, Lord, because you have something bigger in store for, for this broadcast, Lord God, than the enemy can even possibly imagine or even conceive in his pea-sized brain. So, Father, I just pray, God, you'd have your way on this broadcast tonight. I pray, God, you'd anoint every one of my guests. I pray, Father, for those who are dry, for those who are spiritually hungry, God. I pray for everybody on this broadcast tonight as they come on here. Lord God, I pray to be filled with the power of your Holy Spirit, that they be encouraged, edified, and lifted up in the name of Jesus. I thank you, Father, for being our ever-present help, Lord God, tonight in time of need. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father, in Jesus' name. I got five amazing guests. I'm going to bring them up all one at a time here. I'm going to bring up the one I've most recently met first. This lady I got connected with because uh, Brother Danny Mowry, who I last had on a broadcast, said she had a, uh, uh, she did, he just he just gloated about about God in her, and I had to I had to talk to her and uh, perhaps uh, partner with her and connect with her. I just want to all the I just want to introduce y'all, and I'll ask you to welcome uh, Charlene Larocque. Hello. <laughs> Hi, Charlene. How are you? I'm awesome. How are you? I am good. Um, just tested positive with COVID, but don't feel any symptoms right now. So praise the Lord. A um, little bit of congestion, but that's about it. And so just praying my voice stay strong so I can do this broadcast because I was excited when you asked me to do it. So. Wow. You know what? I just want you to just, just, uh, just a quick little preview. What's God got in your heart tonight? Oh, um, expectation in bursting. Um, he's just doing really amazing things in the world right now. And um, kind of gave me a word of just that we need to slow down and take time to listen to him and what he is telling us. Um, wow. That he's not a fast food God. Um, that we just need to take our time and um, really get into him. Hallelujah. He has got stuff he wants us to say and stuff he wants us to speak out Mm. and um, to just have a strong voice in this season. Right on. Right on. I just concur with that. Uh, Welcome, everybody. Welcome, Michelle Campbell. Welcome, Dana Elizabeth. Uh, Mm. Welcome. This is uh, Find Your Fire is um, Nathan uh, Sanders, uh, Frank Sanders. Welcome, Frank. Um, Francis Sanders. Yeah, there he is. Uh, Mm. Julie, welcome. Michelle, we've already caught. Hi, Dana. And guess what? This guy also, I just met in the last couple of days, and it must have been the Lord's will he'd be on the broadcast because God opened up a door. Here he is, Wilmer Navarro. How you doing, sir? God bless you. God bless you, everybody. Hope everybody's doing well. I'm doing good. That's awesome. So let's just give us a quick preview of what God's got in your heart for tonight. The Lord is in this season, he's really uh, sharpening the hearing of his voice. He's causing many people to be silent in his presence, to hear him. I think about that verse in Job where he tells him to be silent so he may teach him wisdom. And the Lord is uh, downloading into people in preparation for the next year. He's, Mm. He's downloading strategy, blueprints, and what to do next year. And he's shifting people too. He's preparing people inwardly. He's doing an inner healing and a deliverance within people so they can uh, step into the new, so they won't get in the way like Peter tried to get in the way of Jesus going to the cross. That's amazing. That's an awesome word. I hope somebody out there is receiving that right now. I believe that for sure. And uh, look at this. Julie says overflowing. Yes. I want to, <laughs> I want to bring on uh, somebody who's turning into a real good friend and, uh, He uh, and I have been on a few broadcasts already. He blesses my heart every time I'm on with them. I want you to welcome Tim Kenner. Hey, Hey, how are you, Matthew? I'm good. How are you? Oh, dude. (laughs) I've never been in a better, uh, very tight space with the Lord than I am Mm -hmm. right now. I mean, 
whoa, bro. It, 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 you know, it, 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 it's, it's, it's like it's been so amazing, even in all the chaos. The reason I have this earmuff up is because the baby's sleeping in the other room, oh. and I kind of am MacGyvering the broadcast to where I can wow. hear you all very good. That's but awesome. This might look a little awkward, but it's perfect. It's holy. Um, That's amazing. And, and God, it's just so good to be here with you, Matthew. I was really looking forward to this. I was looking forward to it too, Tim. What's on your heart, buddy? Oh, you know, you have this uncanny way of just like John Stockton, you know, just like whoo, to Carl Malone. I was just like, yes, because you you were talking about like like if you're not being resisted, right, then why yeah and uh, i have only known resistance training in this season my brother it has felt like climbing mount everest in mud you know for the most part up until this last little month without a sherpa mind you and and you know a sherpa would be a, a hindu guy that's supposed to help you up the mountain of course we have holy spirit but at times mm -hmm. when you're scaling in the dark and and you're trying to get to know holy spirit i'm learning in this season that to be comfortable is not the ritz carlton uh with cucumbers over my eyes and a nice spa and getting a rub down comfortable is hearing the voice of god or perceiving what he's saying in the midst of difficulty and it's mm -hmm. allowing through surrender to be pulled through a, trial, yes. a, a, a difficult situation. Yes. It's, it's, it's learning by surrender how yeah. to let God kind of level the field for us. Yes. And I've learned in this season that the thing that I feared the most, Matthew, which was pain, that would be the whirlwind that destroyed my house. It led me to drugs. It led me to alcohol. It led me to uh, lust. It led me to pornography. It led everything not Jesus. That was the coping mechanism. I didn't know how to trust God in this place until the Lord came in the whirlwind like he did with Job and revealed himself in the midst of the thing I feared the most. And so in this season, in this hour, I've, I've, I've become comfortable in the pain and he's been repurposing it into a, a, a powerful anointing and, and really an understanding of how he operates in the midst of, of wow. situations and circumstances that are not exactly perfect. So I'm here tonight as, as a man on fire for God, as a man uh, that doesn't have everything figured out. And things on. aren't perfect. I'm not walking to you after going to a meeting and, and I've been freshly delivered and everything's perfect. As a matter of fact, I'm being perfected. But the one thing I, I, I've laid a hold of is, okay, I am all in with Jesus, Holy Spirit, the Father. I'm mm -hmm. really soaking in all that he has, yeah. looking for yeah. that re- redirect and uh kind of launching some new things in the new year so this 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 broadcast tonight is very special and is very special that's amazing i haven't done i haven't done spark for quite a number for a few months and uh i've been right trying to get wow. i've been trying to get this thing i'm trying to get spark back on the road for a while and here it is and i'm so happy i'm so excited and i just i just really i honestly believe that god gave me spark Hundred percent. I, I I prayed, you know, I prayed and I asked the Lord. I said, if I do a weekly broadcast or a bi-weekly broadcast, whatever it looks like, what is it going to be called? And the first thing that came to mind was Spark. And I was like, so that is, you know, how the Lord just knows. Mm -hmm. The Lord just knows because you know what? It, it's always I, I find that these things are always in alignment with who we are as 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 children and disciples of Lord of the Lord. Mm -hmm. For me, Spark's a perfect title. It's perfect. It only takes one spark it, to set a fire. That's oh, right. Oh. One spark sets the whole Fuego. lights the, the whole ignites Fuego the whole on prairie fire. on fire, if you want to say, you know. I was gonna bring this next guy up last, but I, I know he's only on for a little while. So uh this is a this is a surprise to most people because he wasn't on the poster, but uh I brought him on here tonight. I love this brother, and I've been on other broadcasts with Mark Redner with him before. And he blesses my socks off. Everybody knows him. Lance Gilliland. Amen. Come on. From that Lord great God. state of Alabama. Amen. Roll Tide. Alabama's in the house. <laughs> From Bama to California, Tim. Amen. Yeah, you know, come on. <laughs> we're brothers in Christ, and we got our sister in Michigan. I mean, we're all over the United States, all over the world. You know, the kingdom of God's at hand. Is The kingdom of God is within us. And it's time to strike the match. It's time to spark. <laughs> I love that word spark. 
It's Friday night fire. It's, you know, it's Friday night lights. Yeah. You know, we're the light to the world. We shine. You know, we're the body of Christ. We're the children of God. We're brothers and sisters joined together tonight Amen. in the spirit as the spirit of the living God lives in us. We are set free and, and the mind of God is manifesting in us. For the same spirit that raised Jesus from the dead is alive in us. We're chosen by God to speak tonight together. God knew about this day before we got here. Therefore, we're here today. We're, in, we're We've been preordained for purpose. Amen. Mm -hmm. That the plan of God would manifest within us tonight as we speak. Come on. That our words and our preaching are not with persuasive words of human wisdom, nor our carnal mind, nor our natural mind. But we have been given the mind to Christ to speak by his spirit. Amen. And his spirit is here flowing tonight. He's going to touch every single person on the broadcast. Faith comes by hearing and hearing the word of God being <laughs> preached by God's spirit. And God's spirit is actively present in the children of God. We're the children of God manifesting together as God is manifesting within us. It is Jesus spirit who is the Holy Spirit. That's the Father's spirit in the children of the most high God. We have the spirit of the living God because he is alive in us. We have the resurrected power of God in our mouth because God said, I'll, Jesus said, I'll put my word in your mouth when you know the truth, the truth of the spirit of God. Our spirit dwells together with the spirit of God, the most high God, the only one true God that ever was and is and forever shall be is actively present in us. Together we stand together on the word of God as we preach and speak together. Come on, as Peter said, you know, as he while he was still preaching, the spirit of the living God was come on rising up in the those who heard the words out of Peter's mouth. And Paul said, my speech and my preaching are not with persuasive words of my own mind and my own humanistic understanding, but by the mind of the spirit of Jesus Christ, who was the Holy Spirit now in us. We're the children of God. Hallelujah. On a Friday night fire with the lights that shine in a dark world. His spirit alive in us. We are joined together this night as children, brothers and a sister. <laughs> Glory to God. And so I got, inner, inner I got one more fantastic <laughs> guest. One more fantastic guest. This sister is truly you, feels like a blood feel truly feels like sister to me, like uh uh almost almost like a almost like a biological sister. She's just an uh, awesome gal, uh love her to death, and she's got a powerful prayer uh intercessory prayer anointing. She's prophetic and uh she's uh, uh just just an anointed woman of God. Um Alba Susage. Shalom to all of you in Jesus' Shalom. name. Shalom. God bless you all. Hallelujah. Alba, welcome. Hey, thank you for having me. Glory to Alba's God. a busy lady. You know, she was just on with Bishop Greg Gill earlier tonight, too. Come on. And Double so, uh, Look at that. Alba's, uh, Alba's rocking, rocking it out. She's Thanks, already God. in the vein. Come on. Yeah. Let's go. So Praise what's on God. your heart, Alba? What's up, sister? Praise God. Uh, it's an honor to be here with all of you tonight, praise God, because of the anointing that God has placed in all of you. It's it's a magnitude of a shift that God has brought together, you know. Yeah, it takes shift, it takes a spark, like you were saying earlier. So I was listening in the background. It takes a spark to shift the atmosphere, to shift everything around us and in us. Glory to God. So I'm just here to bring the good news that God has come in to... Take charge, yeah. take charge yeah. to, re to restrain the restrainer. Glory to God. Come on. Come on. Thank you, Lord. Amen Lord. That. Wow. You, Lord. Come on, clear yes, water. Yes, God. Yes, God. Come on, <laughs> Come on Bama. Yes. <laughs> hallelujah, hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. You know what? I have to testify. Um, the, uh, the broadcast tonight, I've never had it happen before. But tonight when we went live as I was in the middle of welcoming everybody or whatever, um, I had the greatest swell of viewers in the, within the first few minutes I've ever had. Come on. Come on. Hallelujah, Hallelujah, Jesus. Jesus. And, uh, Lord, Lord. that is, that is, uh, that is just, Let's that is just all glory to God right there. Yeah, I, just, uh, Come on. I tell you what, I, I shared the, I shared the poster uh, on my page and uh, I had more shares of that poster than I've ever had. Wow. Oh my God. Thank you, Lord. So, um, <laughs> So uh, God is, I tell you what, man, if that, if, if that doesn't demonstrate, if that doesn't demonstrate God's on this broadcast tonight, yeah. nothing mm -hmm. does because you know what? I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not here to just, I'm not here to just <laughs> sit right. back and talk about Ooh. theology. 
Come on, brother. I'm not here to just sit back and talk about interpretation and, and proper doctrine and and uh, you know ways to worship and how we worship and the songs we sing. Okay. I'm here to have an. I'm here to. I'm here to experience something tonight. Come on, I'm here, to have a, I'm, here, I'm here to see a demonstration. Manifest. I'm here to. Yeah. I'm, here, on. I'm here like everybody else on here come to church. be the demonstration. <laughs> yes, hey, the demonstration. come on. We all need you know a because you know what the hey! Lord. Put, the, the Lord. Let's put, go. The Lord put, himself in, you, in in all of us Ooh, and so if the lord was the demonstration of the kingdom of god mm. then i have the demonstrate the living demonstration living in me Hallelujah. and so i have the living demonstration <laughs> at all times you, not part yes, time not yeah, not yeah. some of the time come not on, on days that i feel like it come on, all come the time on. it's full time i just had a, I just on, had a post on facebook I had a post on facebook about about um about you know what there's no there's no such thing as boredom in the kingdom of god hallelujah there's no such thing as boredom in the kingdom of god you know what if you're bored in the kingdom of god you've got you gotta put, uh, i'm just gonna say this outright because it came to me last night but i didn't post it on facebook boredom is the fruit of the spirit of um come on uh what's stagnation it come on um, um, slumber no, uh, uh, slothfulness. Mm. Slothfulness. Mm. Boredom is the fruit of the spirit of slothfulness. Mm. Yes, yes. Mm. And so you know what? If we're bored in the kingdom, we need to start to Ooh. take take up our sword and our shield against the yes. spirit of slothfulness in our lives. Yes, God. And um, yes, God. And, uh, if mm. we're bored, we got to start stepping out and stop standing mm. around. That's right. Come on. Ooh. Jesus. We gotta stop step, st stepping out and stop standing around because you know what? The only way you can be bored in this in this Jesus. walk with Jesus is if you're not stepping out. Amen. Because you know what? All of come our on, lives, all, all of our all the whole Christian life, the whole Christian life. I'm telling you right now, mm -hmm. the whole life of faith we live is lived in the boat. That's right. Yes. The whole life of faith we live is lived in the boat. So mm. we we Jesus. live in the boat. So that means that when God calls us to walk on the water, we get out and walk on the water. <laughs> Come on. Come on. Obedience, baby. We get out and walk on the water. So I'm just, now I, can, I tell you, man, I, I was at prayer on Wednesday night. And um, one of the things I was, I was feeling in my spirit as we were praying and worshiping at my church that, that is that there's a, there is breakthrough that God wants to bring to the yeah, body. Come on, Jesus. There is yes, breakthrough yes, that God yes, wants yes, to bring to the body of Christ. And there are, and, and you know what? He showed me a scripture. He showed me a scripture in, in, um, in Acts chapter in Acts chapter three, or not Acts chapter three, sorry. I want to say Joshua okay. chapter three. I want you to hear this. This is crazy good. So he's, it says here, it says um uh it says here starting at verse um starting at verse nine Come on. of chapter three. I'm gonna read a bit Come here, on. so just bear with me. So Joshua said to the children of Israel, come here and hear the words of the Lord your God. Everybody's come here to hear the words of the Lord. Come on. Everybody. Yes, Lord. And Joshua said, by this you shall know that the living God is among you and that he will without, he will without fail drive out from before you the Canaanites and the Hittites and the Hivites and the Perizzites come and on. the Girgashites and the Amorites. You know what? God is a oh, God of the man. and the. Hmm. He's a God of the and the, because you know what the and the is? Hallelujah. The and the is the piling up of the victories he's won over our enemies. Yes, Lord. Our enemies go from being the subject of our sentences to being the prepositions. Ooh, come on, come on, come on. And so he says, he says, behold, the ark of the covenant of the Lord of all the earth is crossing Ooh. over before you into the Jordan. Yes. Now, therefore, take for yourselves 12 men from the tribes of Israel, one man from every tribe. And it shall come to pass as soon as the soles of the feet of the priests who bear the ark of the Lord, the Lord of all the earth shall rest in the waters of the Jordan. So the priests went before the rest of the people because why? Mm. Because they bore the ark of the Lord. Mm. Thank you, Lord. There's a stark difference between a, a priest in that day carrying the ark of the Lord into the into the Jordan River and us being the ark of the Lord today. Come on. Come on. Because if we're Come the on. ark of the Lord Preach. today, we already have, we are the ark. Mm -hmm. Because yes, you said, it, Paul wrote in First Corinthians chapter three that, that you are a temple of yeah, the, Holy the Holy Spirit. Ghost. Come on, yes, you're a God. temple of the Holy Spirit. Same Spirit. Come on. Yes, so it says here. Uh, it says here. It continues. It says, um, as soon as soon as the soles of the feet of the priests who bear the ark of the Lord, the Lord of all the earth, shall rest in the waters of the Jordan. Jesus, rest. That the waters of the Jordan shall be cut off. The waters that come down from upstream, and they shall stand as a heap. 
Come on, so it was when the people set out from their camp. I love that phrase. Ooh. So it was. There are wow. some people on this broadcast who are going to have a so it was experience Whoa. in the name of Thank Jesus. You, in wow. the name of Jesus. So it was. Thank the Lord is actually decreeing. As it was, the Lord as is it actually was, decreeing yeah, and declaring that right now. So it was over your life. Come on. Oh Come so on. It was. You know what, Charlene? Charlene, you know what? Ooh. The Lord says so it was about COVID Ooh. over your life. Amen. So it was yes, in the name of Jesus. Yes, Lord. So it was. So it was. I'm decreeing and declaring an end to COVID 19 in Charlene LaRock's life tonight. The light of the Lord says, So it was the death of COVID 19 in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. It says here, the, pre, the feet of the priests who bore the ark dipped in the edge of the water. Jesus. Uh, for who bore the ark dipped in the edge of the water. For the Jordan overflows all up, its Aaron? banks, even during the time of harvest. harvest. Come on. That the waters which came down from upstream Woo! stood still and rose in a heap very far away from Adam, the city that is beside Zaretan. So the waters that went down the sea of the Araba, the salt sea, failed and were cut off. Come on. And the people crossed over opposite Jericho. Glory to Jesus. I want to. This is what the, I feel the Lord is saying to, with this scripture. I feel the Lord is saying, if you will only invite me and allow me to go Thank before you, before you into your circumstances. Yes. If you will give me an invitation into your circumstances, Come, Holy if you'll give me an invitation into COVID-19, if you'll give me an invitation into your work situation, if you'll give me an invitation into your finances, if you give me an invitation into your family life, if you give me an invitation into your, into your marriage that is on the rocks, I'm telling you the Lord is here to split the sea tonight for some people. The Lord is here to split the sea. He's here to divide the Jordan River so you can walk through on dry ground, on dry ground. And when the Lord splits the sea, if we allow the Lord to go before us, we just have to follow behind him and pick up the manner that is the victory that he's going to provide our life for our life. Thank you, Lord. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. So I just decree and declare on this broadcast tonight that there is breakthrough that's coming upon the body of Christ on this broadcast. And I just invite you, I just encourage you all right now to start to share and, and get that broadcast out and let it let the let the river flow to other parts of Facebook tonight. Because I'm telling you, the Lord is not done with just having it on my page. He's not he doesn't have a boundary, he doesn't have a he doesn't have a set marker. He says, I'm looking to expand some territory. Yes, yes. I'm looking to expand some territory tonight. I'm looking to expand somebody's legacy tonight. I'm looking to take somebody to new places tonight. I'm looking to do something something new in somebody's life tonight. Mm -hmm. I'm looking to, to scare away the darkness and bring the gospel of light in the name of Jesus. We're talking about Jesus coming and meeting with people and, and changing and transforming lives and changing circumstances and moving on in the midst of something you thought was impossible. But the Lord says tonight, it's, it's possible with me. It's possible with me tonight in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. So we just release it now. We release breakthrough on this broadcast right now in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 I might just, I might just add, I might just add one thing to, to just to confirm what you said. Three yes, years, yes, yes. three yes. years and one month ago, I was in El Salvador. It was my very first mission trip. And I was in a city called La Libertad. And it was after we went to an orphanage. And it was incredible that you chose the verse Joshua 313. That is one of my favorite verses because I said, Lord, I don't have, I don't know what you want to talk about. We were in a little town, there was a lot of hungry people, and there was a lot of need. And uh, the Lord said, Joshua 3.13, and I opened up my Bible, opened it up to that verse, and I said, oh, my. So it was a really powerful evening because the people were hungry, and that's about sticking the soles of your feet into the water. And I, I, I've got to tell you how how on point this word is and, and how, how I figured it out in the most unlikely ways last night on the tennis court, how, how that kind of works. I was playing tennis Come on. not well. <laughs> As usual, I was getting beat by this very, very good player who's an engineer and knows just how to beat me. Just kind of sounds like the <laughs> devil, right? The devil knows all your weaknesses and plays to those weaknesses and is very good at playing to your weaknesses. And until you learn to overcome, you're going to get beat like a wet noodle. It's just the way it works. You got to learn how to overcome. So I've been losing to this guy for two and a half years, right? 
consistently, same thing all the time. So two days, two times before he said, the Lord told me to be still. I'm used to trying, working hard, doing wow. this, doing that. He just said, be still. And I was like, oh, okay, I'll try that, you know? And I was still, and he played through, and I played one of the best matches of like so. my, my life. Then this week I started off Rocky, but I, 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 I was on, just bro. waiting on the Lord. I lost, I, I, I lost six <clears> games <throat> in a row. And then the two first games of the next set. And the Lord said, throw your racket. I threw my <laughs> racket. I picked up the second racket that I have. I threw my blue racket with the Batman dampener and picked up the green racket, the bobble lot. It was a green bobble lot with a angry face and a happy face dampener. I picked that up and an anointing comes upon me like a superhero. And I tell you, I won the next six games in a row and I can't tell you how I did it. But I was, I was, I, I okay. Before that, I was just patty caking. Have you ever patty caked with the devil? You just dink the ball back. You just dink the ball back and he smashes it on you and he laughs at you and mocks you because he's just, he's like, that's not real faith. Patty caking with me. So then I get the new racket and I'm playing like Pete Sampras, uh, you know, like uh, Djokovic. I'm like, wow, 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 wow. And it was, it was this moment where I stuck my toe in the water and my, my faith turned into an action and the action took over and this beautiful thing occurred. So I just wanted to share that because I wow. feel like it's so impactful that you're sharing this word and, and like what that might look like to somebody else on the other side and how they might kind of be able to just lean into it yeah. and receive their breakthrough. I really feel oh, like this is going to yes. be a, one night where everyone can I, like rocked. Wow. Can I piggyback on, on Go what ahead. Tim is saying? Go ahead. Tim, it's so interesting what you said. I love what God's doing because he's connecting everything. You said you went to El Salvador, which means savior. The place yes. is called La Libertad, which means deliverance. Come God on. said the savior, come on, to deliver his people. Oh, you, come yes. on. Hallelujah. Come on. That's what that's what the Lord's doing in this hour. And I yes, want to share yes, this scripture yes, yes. because Tim said something that sparked something in me. Job 36, 15 Ooh. says, but those who suffer, he delivers in their suffering. And he speaks yes. to them in their affliction. Another on, version yes. says he opens yes. their ear in their affliction. Yeah. What am I saying to you? Whatever you're going through, God's trying to open your ear. God's trying to speak to you what's going on. He's trying yes. to tell you the enemy's coming against you because he knows oh. what's up ahead. He Come knows those, those, those opportunities that is opening for you. He knows the ministry that is opening for you. He knows the nations that are waiting for you. The enemy knows something that you do not know. Come on. The enemy knows something that you do not know. And God wants you to hear the affliction because many of the afflictions are righteous, but the Lord shall deliver you from them all. And the Lord trying to deliver many people. But by the Hallelujah. hearing of the ear, it's the instruction that the Lord's trying to give you. The, because you got to hear the voice of the Lord. Yes. It says the fear of God at the beginning of wisdom Woo. or knowledge, right? Before despise yeah, yeah. wisdom and what? Instruction. And the Lord's trying to give people instruction in this time, in this season. But many people are so busy doing so many things. But the Lord wants yes. you to be still and know that he's God. Hallelujah. And Matthew, you were saying something. The Lord was speaking to me. God was giving me a word for you, Matthew. The Lord gave me a word. He said, you've been faithful over the little and God's putting you over much. God is expanding your territory. God is increasing you. Little flock, it pleases the Lord to give you the kingdom. And God's going to increase you in this time and this season because you're faithful over the little. The Bible says in Job 8 and 7, the humble your beginnings, but greater and prosper shall be your future. And the Lord's expanding you, and the Lord's causing you to prosper, and the Lord's going to bring more divine connections. You're getting ready to see my hand upon you, my son. I'm going to open doors for you like never before. Travel is coming, my son. Prepare yourself. I spoke to you about this. Travel is coming, my son. I spoke to you about this. Prepare yourself. Yes, prepare God. yourself. I keep hearing the Lord say, yes, prepare God. yourself. Yes, Study God. to show yourself approved. A you work of the Lord. Me. Rightly dividing the word of truth. Come, come on. Come on. Not needing to be ashamed. My the Lord wants you to the rightly divide the word of truth. You're going to divide the word where it brings revelation. The Lord's going to bring revelation as you preach. It's like a, I'm seeing like a peri stone anointing is going to come upon you. Like Perry yes, Stone, God. you're going to be teaching the word of God yes, and revelation yes, yes. nuggets are going to come out of yes, it. Revelation, yes, yes. a prophetic word is going to come Thank out of it, Matthew. Lord. For the hey, Lord says in this time and this season, I'm pushing you forward. I'm pushing you forward. Stop looking back like you told the people of Israel. Move forward. Why are you crying to me? Move forward. The Lord's telling you to move forward. Stop looking at Pharaoh. Stop looking at Egypt. Egypt can't do nothing to you. I defeated Egypt. The 
enemies that you see today, you will see no longer. The enemies that you see today, you will see no longer. You'll see no longer. Because the Lord, I hear the Lord say, You've been going through oppression. You've been going through much affliction. You, I just met you right now. I just met you today. The Lord's showing me you got through much affliction and you got a month through much oppression. But the Lord is it up. He's giving you the garment of praise. Yes, He's giving you the garment of praise for the spirit of heaviness. He's giving you that garment of praise that's breaking through and breaking forth. And the fresh wind and the fresh fire of God is coming upon you. For the Lord's giving you an anointing to preach with fire and you're going to spark fire. You're going to spark you, a fire in people. You're going to be that spark that's going to ignite people. And you're also going to move into inspiration. The inspiration. Holy men were inspired by God to, to, to write the word of God. They were moved by God. And a spark causes movement. We're called to be movement, not a monument. Hey, we're called to be a movement, not a monument. God told us to be hard. You are a man of power. And you're the man of the hour. God says that to you. You're a man of power and you're a man of the hour. And you're the man that I'm in power, and I'm going to shower, and I'm going to open things so the enemy you will devour. Yes, because we have tried to devour you, you will devour. Like Samson, he opened up the mouth of the lion, and out of the lion, he brought out the honey. And God's going to bring out honey out of the place that they think they coming against you. God's bringing, I see books as well. You have you have, you have a scribal anointing, and they're all going to cause you to write like now before Matthew. Jesus. Just like Matthew in the Bible, just like Matthew in the Bible, you're going to write. Hallelujah. Just like Matthew in the Bible, you're going to write. There's a scribal anointing to write from the time and the season that the people needed for this time and this season. For there's an Issachar anointing on your life. To understand and know the time like never before. In Jesus' mighty name. I tell you, I received that. Hey, I got it. Oh, it's because I've wrote you, and I have said two times that we don't need monuments, we need movements. In Jesus' name. I've said that and I've wrote that. I tell you, I tell you the truth. That is the absolute truth. I've said it and I've wrote it. I've said, we got it. I, I said, man, listen to this. Man, this is. I'll tell you what, the church spends too much time looking back on movements of God, monuments of movements from the past. Yes. But we don't spend enough time God seeking a movement for today. God is about to do greater. We don't spend enough time seeking a movement for today. And I want a movement yes. for today. Well, I want a movement for today, yes, Wilma, Wilmer. I want a movement for today. I want a, a movement of the Spirit of God for today. For today, right not for tomorrow, not for not for a year ago, not yeah. for a week ago. I want to I want to move with the spirit today for today, right. for this season, for this hour, for this time. That's what I want. I'm not interested in hearing about past revivals. You know, I spent long enough. Woo, I spent long enough listening to uh, Steve Hill of the Brownsville revival and, and and taking all of that in when I was a new Christian. And uh, I don't need. You know what? I don't need to take any more of that in necessarily. Mm -hmm. There's lots of anointing okay. there, but you know what? My my oil comes from above, not from yeah. not not this not this way. Oh, it comes damn. from this Let's way. Go. He fills he fills my lamp this way. Yeah. I don't get it from this way. Come this on. way. You know, and when I fill yeah. a cup with water, it doesn't go in sideways. Thank you. Ooh. Come on. Thank <laughs> you. It comes Come in on. over the top. Comes in this way Hello. from the top down. That's right, from the top right. down and so uh man you know what i gotta i just right, gotta right. testify again thank you everybody for coming on this broadcast thank you for the all 20 yeah. viewers i currently have on here right now that is a record number at one time i tell you the truth <laughs> Come on, the record number i tell you at one time i tell you the truth thank you, thank you father for doing this and doing it in the way only you know how thank you father in jesus name yes, Lord. in jesus name that was a fantastic word i receive every word of it thank you jesus thank you jesus, thank you, thank you, jesus. you know i i um, i had i had uh <laughs> i had danny mallory prophesy over me uh when he was on with me and man it was fire it was absolute crazy because he hit something on the head that i have been praying about and i have been looking and i have been asking and i've been literally i i wilmer i won't tell you i won't talk about it all right now but i'll tell you what buddy when when we get off of here uh we'll we'll, we'll spend some time chatting i'll tell you all about it but uh, awesome uh, thank you but, Jesus. Uh, yeah that's insane yes, we got so many people that are being blessed even now even now oh there's yes, a baby yes, with yes. Tim. daddy tim mm -hmm. you look like me right now tim totally <laughs> mr mom mr mom <laughs> 
Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Yeah. What a blessing. Praise God. Oh man, wow. it is raising Jesus. The, the Lord, uh, the Lord, the Lord said it's like raising Jesus. You know, in a yes. sense, yes. if you think about it, you know, yeah. you're raising a child is is raising up the Lord in him, and you learn yes. how to, you learn how to parent by by not having all the answers. At least yeah. if you're me. Yes. And um, I made mistakes on the first one. You know, that was the, that was my BC before Christ. Uh, and then AD would be after being a doofus. <laughs> um, and, 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 and now, and now, um, and now it's like, I, I have to rely on the whole, on the Holy ghost and the yeah. father. And so like, it's so crazy how you learn so much changing a diaper, you know, making a bottle and, 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 and raising a, 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 a newborn. Especially Come when your on. wife's a nurse, you know, you just kind of yeah. like, you just kind of get to learn Christianity all over again. And it's, it's, it's incredible, man. Fresh start. Amen. Yeah. Like yeah. the Lord's changing my diapers and, you, you know, Ooh. making me bottles. Oh, and even now at 46, yeah. so it's kind of like, it's just a, it's just a full circle. That's right. Yes. I yes, agree. Man. What's up, James Hodges coming in? Glory man, look at this. Fresh anointing. Amen. Man, James oh, got God. a new relationship. <laughs> I feel all yeah, things. Congratulations, new. bro. <laughs> I, 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 asked, Jay, I asked James to join me tonight, but uh, he oh, said no he had other, other, uh, other plans. So we'll get him on wow. some other time. That's yeah. awesome. Love James. Yeah. We all love James. James is yeah. awesome. Yeah. Yes. 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 Yeah. Hope. Yeah. Somebody pray for James. I'll pray for Heavenly him. Heavenly Father. Go ahead, Lance. Go ahead, Lance. You got it. You got it. You got it, man. You got it. I'm about to I'm about L how about the bus over here? Come on. <laughs> <laughs> Volcano. 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 Come on. Erupt. Yep. Give me that microphone one time. <laughs> Go ahead. Go ahead, lads. Go ahead. James, James got God brand new, doing all things new in you. James, God's taking you from the back to the front. James Hodges, as your, your, your voice is being called out front to the nation. Amen. Yeah. As you've got yeah. the bride of Christ, we are the yeah. bride yeah. of Christ. You have the word in your mouth, James. You have the same spirit that raised Jesus from the dead in you. And he's yeah. giving you the desires of your heart. You were gone for a moment, but just for a moment. We've all been to, we've all been locked down in our mind. We've all been to prison in our own self as we all are being drawn together right now by the spirit of God in us. We're the children. We're the babes in Christ. Amen. We're the babes that are speaking out of the mouth of babes. As I just hear Tim's child on here. Amen. And I know Jamie and Candace just had a newborn child. You know, they got to feed them milk. Amen. As we've been getting the milk of the word. But God says, I'm bringing there's still meat in my house. For I am here, said God, James. And James, you bring the meat. To the word of God, by the spirit of God, but we can endure it for a night. Joy comes in the morning and it's morning time for the church. It's time for the church to rise up with healing in, in the wings as the wings of God are here as the yes, wind Lord. of God is speaking. Our breath is the breath of God because mm. the same spirit that raised Jesus, listen, from the dead is alive in us. We're the church. We're the full body of Jesus Christ. We're the anointed ones that speak as babes. As he is, so are we right now in this world. We preach as the church because God speaks out of our mouth, out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaks. And the word of God goes forth. We have been called and chosen this day as the spirit of the living God has been unified together with us. We have the same spirit that raised Jesus Christ. If you are a believer in Jesus, he is the firstborn of us. He's the firstborn of many brothers and sisters. He is the firstborn of all of us now. For the same exact, if you believe in Jesus, the same exact spirit that raised Jesus from the dead is actively present and alive in us together today. We are joined together this day by the same spirit, just like Peter when he preached on the mountain top of God, while yet he was still preaching the Holy Spirit as he was speaking from the spirit of God out of his mouth was speaking the word of God. As those who heard the word speaking out of the mouth of Peter, Peter began to preach and those who heard believed the word that was being spoken and they began to speak themselves. The Bible says as he was yet still speaking, the spirit of God filled them up. Your body's a yes, temple God. of the most high God. We're the children of God, God. unified together by the same spirit. This is Hallelujah. how we preach and teach the word of God. For Jesus Christ is alive. He's in us. Hallelujah. We're given the same spirit, not a spirit of fear, but power, love, and a sound mind. For we are the babes of Christ preaching the sound doctrine. For we are not preaching by our own authority. We are preaching by the same spirit, Jesus, as he's given us his Holy Spirit. The same, the same in the Father and the Son is now in the children. If you're a child of God, you speak 
by the Spirit of God who dwells and lives within you. And the kingdom of God is within us, James Hodges, fresh fire. It's time to light it up on a Friday night, fright light. You know, as the tonight's a Friday night, Friday night when Jesus bore on, our, his, on the cross our sins. He died for our sins so he would live in us by the same spirit that we have. We have received not any other spirit, but the spirit of God. This is how we preach. It's easy to preach and teach the word of God when the spirit of God in you teaches. Amen. So we're been joined together by the one who saved us all. We're all children of the most high God. How are we all the same? We're all the same in the spirit. Different functions of the same body by the same spirit. As the spirit of God fills every temple, your body is the temple of the most high God. By the spirit of God in us, he changes our mind as he's alive in us. It is Christ in us, the hope of glory. That we all are coming. We are being formed together, joined together as the new man. As God so loved the world, he gave his only begotten son. Whosoever believes in him shall not perish. You'll never be left alone. We're the body of Christ. We are coming together right now by the Spirit of God as he dwells in us today. The same Spirit raised Jesus from the dead man is in you. It's in us together. Together we are being brought together as those who gather together in the Spirit. You see, the Spirit of God's in us, gathering us together in the Spirit. So we will preach the word of God. It's not I that preach, but Christ in me. The Spirit of God preaches. Every one of you be filled tonight with the Holy Spirit. Come on, yes, as we're yeah. being drawn together by his spirit, his spirit's active and present in those that believe in Jesus. You put your faith in Jesus, the firstborn son, he's manifesting now in us. As the father manifested in the firstborn son by the Holy Spirit, the same exact spirit of God is now here. In us. Come on, glory to God. I feel the anointing flowing as the spirit of God's here. Now lay hands on your breath, stir up the good gift of God who is dwelling within you. So your spirit's unified together with us. We all have the same spirit, different functions and different ministries, but this is how we preach. I don't preach, it's God who preaches. Out of our mouth, out of the abundance of the mouth speaks the word of God, our heart. We all have the heart of the same heart of God yes. as he lives in us as children. Is this daughter right here is a child of God? Abba from Clearwater, Florida. Clearwater, that's what I'm gonna speak tonight, the clear water. And I want to speak about the oil of God. Oil and water don't mix. Come on, somebody. God destroyed the earth, the, 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 the old world, by the by the water with Noah. And as of the days of Noah, it is now. He's here with the fire. That's the oil of God. As yes, we speak, God. we have the spirit of the fire of yes, the Holy God. Spirit. Jesus said, I'll baptize you with Holy Spirit and fire out of the abundance of the heart. Yes, the mouth will speak. As God yes, speaks yes, God. out of our mouth, we've been called and chosen you, to speak as he is now today. So are we now together. We are being gathered together in the spirit you, with God. And God is with us. That's Emmanuel. He's with all of you on this broadcast. Faith has been given to you that we, that we activate the faith of the Son of God. That is his faith manifesting to move the mountain. Fresh fire. You Thank can you all know. be joined together today by the same spirit that raised oh. Jesus from the dead. Just put Thank you, you know. believe in Jesus. He died on the cross for oh. our oh. sin. Oh. All of us fell short. None, oh. is, none oh. is better than the other. We all co heirs with Jesus. Yes, Lord. Oh. Come on, Lance. Lance. Yes, sir. Come on. Yes, yes, Lord. Lord. Yeah. I have a I have a I have a request. Come on. For all of you. <laughs> I have yes. on my phone right now my family. Because they're visiting their cousins in another area, and uh, they called so that we could pray and say good night. Amen. Amen. So, how about you guys pray for my family? Yeah. Oh wow. Hi, Leona. Hallelujah. Bless you. <laughs> hey, Leona. Hi. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Hi, Amen. Surely, y'all. you to pray. Heavenly Father, I just thank you for their family, Father yes. God. I thank you for what a blessing they are, Father God. I thank you that they are united, Father God. I thank you that you are moving in their behalf, Father God. I thank you for financial blessings over them, yes. Father God. I thank you yes. for um, blessing over this trip that they're on, Father God, that you would just um, encourage them, Father God, that yes, you will continue to put your hedge of protection over yes, them, Father. I yes. thank you that you're moving mightily in his children, Father God, that yes, you call Lord. them blessed, Father God, that you are raising them up to a higher yes, standard, yes, Father God, that you are building them up to be the next generation that yes, leads God. people to Christ for you, that they are evangelists and prophets in that household, Father God, and I ask that you continue to bless them in Jesus' yes. name. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. Blessing the Amen. Savior. 
Bless in the field. Hallelujah. So, Father, I just thank you for my family. I thank you for my yes, children. God. I pray you'll bless them as they go to sleep tonight. And thank you for giving yes, us God. the opportunity to have them Hallelujah. on the broadcast. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Wilmer, Wilmer, this guy, up, Leona, this guy up here, Wilmer, he told, he mentioned, he prayed before the broadcast about having generations come on the broadcast tonight. Yeah. Whoa. Yeah. Jesus. Thank, thank you, you, Jesus. Come on, that's a quick question. <laughs> yeah. So I, generations, God, God is restoring generations in yeah. this hour. God is restoring, yeah. restoring families in this hour. He's bringing yes. the, the priesthood, the, the wives and, and, and the children in order. He's bringing yeah. order to the home, and the generations are going to be blessed because there's this integrity that's happening with the fathers that are walking in integrity. They're walking in the fear of the Lord. They're leaving an inheritance for the children. So, Father, I bless these children, Father God, as you've given me a heart for children, God. I bless the children, God. Father, I ask that you bless them with wisdom, God. I ask that you bless them with an encounter with you, with dreams and visions, God, and creativity, God, and let the gifts flourish like never before, God. I pray for a fresh wind and the joy of the Lord to never depart from them, God. The joy of their salvation, God. The joy of their salvation, God. I thank you, God, that you're faithful to them, God. I thank you that you walk with them like you walk with David, Father God. That everything that David did, you were with David. So I thank you for that. In Jesus' name, and the Lord will bless them, and the Lord will keep them, and the Lord Make his face shine upon him and give him his peace and his, and his favor in Jesus' mighty name. Hallelujah. Amen. Bye. Hallelujah. All right. Well, Jesus. I'll see you later. Hallelujah. Have a good night. <laughs> Sweet dreams. Jesus. Jesus. Mm. Bye, uh, prophet, prophet, I want to just come piggyback on what you just on, prayed on. right now. Uh, I come in agreement to the word that God, what God just released, glory to God, because it's been a couple of days I've heard God say as I was praying over the people of God on another broadcast, mm. I heard him say, I'm restoring the lost tribe of Israel. I'm restoring a lost tribe of Israel. I don't know which tribe that is, but I know that God is restoring back a lost tribe in his kingdom. Glory to My God. God. Mm, thank, you, Let's go. thank you, Lord. Charlene, Charlene, you know what? As uh, Lance was thank speaking you, a few minutes ago, um, I really felt like you had something you needed to say, like you had something you needed to release. I've been watching you, I've been watching you sit there and you've just been bubbling you've just been rocking yeah. in the glory and so um, you, i think you need to speak sister well i was praying and asking the lord what he wanted to share before the broadcast and i was journaling because that's what i do um so i'm just going to read what he shared with me um the lord says he is not in a hurry we are always in such a hurry but he says take time to rest in him when you stop just for a few moments, then he can have your full attention. Mm -hmm. When your eyes will be, then your eyes will be open to see those who are hurt and have lost their way back to him. He says, open your ears to hear his voice. When you listen closely, he will tell you how to find the gold in each person he he has created. Then, <clears throat> When you can look at a person and see Jesus through their sinful That's flesh, right. then you have such, then you have reached maturity. That's then right. you are ready to be sent. So, he says there's a harvest field that is ripe. Jesus. He needs us harvesters to have the right equipment to be prepared Jesus. by spending time with him. Yeah. Relationship with him gives you mm. all the tools you need. You mm. just need to be sensitive to the Holy Spirit. Oh, be quick to share your testimony. Your testimony is anything that you speak out loud about how he has moved in your life. The lost are hungry for something that can fill them up. But you see, I made man to crave intimacy, an intimate relationship with him. And anything else will, and nothing else will do. See, when you speak of me, it will ignite their spirit and resurrect them from the dead flesh. For I am a consuming fire. When I touch the flesh, they are transformed into a new creation. Their spirit connects with my spirit and the truth sets them free. When they realize the truth of their sonship, 
then they can walk with me in the cool oh, of the garden. Sure. You see, I have always wanted to walk with them, knowing I am there. With them knowing I am there. I never leave them, but when I don't, when they don't realize I'm there, it is a one-way conversation. I want them to open and share their most intimate and deepest desires and dreams. For them to hear what I have planned for them, for them to be able to fulfill all that I have for them to do. I long to have a, a meal with them and reveal who I am. For them to know my endless love and passion for them. But how will they know if no one tells them? Do not let my sacrifice be in vain. Do not let one of my precious children be lost without hearing the truth. Let my life breath breathe into their dry bones and bring them back to life. Speak truth over them. Let them know I have not rejected them. I have accepted them even while they were still sinning. I am the one that gives life. No one doesn't truly live until they come in to have a personal relationship with me. I hear their cries. I am present in every circumstance. They believe I don't care, but oh, how wrong they are. I care so deeply for them. I am constantly talking to them, revealing myself at every opportunity. When you open your mouth, I will fill it, and the lost will hear my voice. They will. Be, they are saved. And I will be glorified in this season. No more will your voice be silenced anymore. <laughs> For I am the Lion of Judah. You will open your mouth and the nations will be transformed. Sounds of revival are breaking forth. Mighty, rushing, powerful anointing is being released. My spirit is going before you and I am fighting the battle. Only trust and believe and you will see my hand move just like I did for the Israelites. For you are my chosen people. I have created you for such a time as this. You have a message that is specific for this time. Oh, have been called to break the stronghold over this nation. Come on. Yes. Rise, sound the alarm. Now is the time. Let your praise and your war cry be heard across the land. I have called you. I have anointed you. I have commissioned you, and I am sending you out. Go into all the land and tell them of my love. Yes. Thank you, Lord. Powerful. Wow. Wow. There's glory all over this. Glory to God. Go ahead, Alba. I don't know what to say. <laughs> only only to, to really, truly I'll let you know that I, I've been engulfed with the presence of God. I feel drunk right now. Glory yeah. to God. <laughs> Release so it. much power. Yes. Glory to God. Hallelujah. <laughs> Who we give him praise tonight? We give him praise tonight. Hallelujah. I can I can feel the heart of God and I can see the, the river of the living water flowing. I can see the heart of God wanting to fill his children afresh, wanting to, to, to hallelujah, to meet them at the point of their need, to meet them at their worship. To, time, to meet them at their praise moment, hallelujah. Even oh. as they're going through, hallelujah, he wants to meet them right where they are, right as they are. Yeah. Nothing by any means can change his love for us, hallelujah. But as we are, glory to God, nothing can change his love for us, hallelujah. Who I don't know where you are. I don't know if you're sitting somewhere with a bottle of, of drink, whatever, alcohol, glory to God, or were you doing drugs or whatever. I don't know whether God has sent you accidentally in this life tonight. But my brother, my sister, you must know that this is the right timing. This is not an accident. That is an appointed time that God has brought you here to just show him, to show you uh, his love, to show him his unconditional love. To show you his power that he can transform your life once again. Glory to God. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Mm. Mm -hmm. yeah. You only open yourself to him and watch him transform your life. Transform. Only allow him to come near you and in you and watch him what he do. Yeah. Jesus, we give you glory, God. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> 
Flow on your people, God. Flow on your sons. Flow on your daughters, God. Flow. Let the rivers of the living water, God. Refresh them, God. Refresh them from the battle, God. Refresh them, God. Hallelujah. From everything, God. Let us come to disturb their peace, God, from everything, God. Huh? Glory to God. <coughs> Hallelujah. Ooh, Lord, I pray, God, that you touch the hearts of your people tonight, that you blow the breath of life over their lungs, God, over their chest, God, that they will be delivered, God, from every shackle, God, from every bondage, God, from every sickness, from every disease, God, for the for the enemy has come to take their breath away, God. He has come to take their life, God. Huh? But tonight, God, you are about to arise with great power, God. Huh? God, with your word declares, God, that when you, when the enemies of our soul will rise, God, you raise up a standard, God, in our behalf, God. I decree and declare that tonight, God, the blood of Jesus that was shed in the cross of Calvary is speaking greater ways, God. Greater words, God. Greater power, God. Greater anointing. God, greater revelation, God, greater manifestation, God. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray, oh God. For the mention of his name, every knee shall bow and every tongue shall confess that Jesus is Lord, God. And when we speak it through his name and in his name, God, ah, every power of darkness must flee and die by fire, God. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray, Lord. Mm. Let the infusion, God, I thank God. you. Let, hallelujah. Let, let them be infused with the blood of Jesus, God. From every side and every part, every organ of their body, let them receive the infusion of the blood of Jesus. Christ. Let them receive the transfusion of the blood of Jesus Christ, God, and be renewed in Christ again, God. In Jesus' name, I pray, Lord God. Father, thank you. I thank you for life, Charlene. The Lord keeps the Lord keeps uh, highlighting you, Charlene. I, I keep hearing the Lord say, "Trust in me, my daughter." With all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. Trust in my ways. Trust in my ways. Trust in my plans because my ways are higher than your ways and my thoughts are higher than your thoughts because I'm moving on your behalf and I put things inside of you. Your heart does die for you are a dreamer of dreams. You are a dreamer of dreams. And I speak to you in the night hour like I speak to Joseph and I reveal to you mysteries and I reveal to you secrets and I reveal to you things that are to come of the land and I reveal to you the deep things. But the Lord says you will live and not die to declare the word to the Lord. You will live and not die to the grave of the works of the Lord. You will live and not die to the grave of the works of the Lord because he is the resurrection and the life. He is the resurrection and the life. And he speaks life to you. He speaks life to your family. Life to you. Life to your family. Life to you. Life to your family. In the name of Jesus. And the Lord is coming like an all consuming fire and he's going to consume and burn and purge anything that's not of him in your home right now. He must leave now. We rebuke it in the name of Jesus. Echo battle. We drag it out by the finger of God. We take authority in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. And come out of her. Come out of her home. Spirit of infirmity. We find it. We drive it out in the name of Jesus. Leave now in the name of Jesus. For the Lord says, you are a voice that's needed. And I raise you up to be a mother in Israel like Deborah. Mother in Israel like Deborah. You have a Deborah anointing and you are a commander in the things of the Lord. For the Lord called you to command and to speak those things that are not as though they are. Speak those things. For I'm bringing you out of that place of being struck. The Lord says, I'm bringing you out of that place of being struck. I'm bringing you out of that place of being struck. And I'm moving you forward. And I'm pushing you forward. You're no longer going to be in the mud. You're no longer going to be in the muddy waters. You're no longer going to be in the muddy waters. I'm bringing you out of the muddy waters. You're coming out of the place of that quick sand. And I'm doing a quick thing. And I'm doing a quick work. And I'm moving swiftly on your behalf. You will see my provision. 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 See my provision. I am the God of gold and silver. You will see my... I see. I see there's a provision for remission. 
a provision for remission. The Lord shows me there's a provision for a mission. Or there's a, there's, a, there's a missionary anointing on your life to do missions. You have a heart. I see like Heidi Baker. I see this missionary thing to you. The Lord shows me Heidi Baker, a mother just like Heidi Baker, a mother that's going to be used to heal ears. Because since this broadcast, my ear has been hurting. And the Lord cannot use you to heal ears just like Heidi Baker and to move in the unusual and in miracles in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name. Ah, thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. I also uh, I also want to just I just want to come in on, on that too. Uh, so I mean, I, you know, you talk about Deborah Wilmer. You talked about Deborah, but I felt I also I also heard the name Moses. I also heard the name Moses as you were prophesying, and I, and I feel like uh, Charlene, you're, you're you're a Moses in the sense that, just like you said, I feel like you're you you come you come against the plagues, you come against the plagues because he he's given you a staff, and you're you're one that comes alongside and you put the staff in the water and it parts the seas, and uh, I just feel like the Lord has 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 given you that has given you that type of that type of influence and that type of anointing on your life to be able to cast to be able to split the seas for your friends and for your brothers and for your sisters and uh and i just i just bless you and i and i um i just feel like you know, I, I you know what came to mind was when i heard about moses i heard you know I, that came to mind where he comes before moses Mo, sorry where moses comes before pharaoh charlene and he begins to he asks them let my people go. My people go. And he says, "Let my people go." And that's why that's what I feel like you you have in you, Charlene. You come before you come before the Pharaoh of this age, yeah. and you command Pharaoh to let my people go, to let your people go. And uh, I just I just bless you to know that you have that you have the anointing to bring freedom, to bring freedom to yes. places where that to people that are plagued. To a people that are plagued, and I just thank you, Father, for that. Even I just feel like there's a healing touch upon your life, even too. I just thank you, Father, for the healing, the healing gift that is on Charlene's life, Lord. And I thank you, God, for releasing it even more now, today, than ever before, God. Release it now, even more than before, Lord Jesus. I thank you, God, for Lord Jesus. I think I thank you, God, that that staff that she, that rod that she has in her hand, God. I thank you, God, that I hear it's blooming today. It's blooming. It's blooming in the name of Jesus. The call, the gift, the purpose that you put in Charlene is blooming tonight on this broadcast in the name of Jesus. It is coming forth. It is being called out of her in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, I thank you, Lord God, for raising up Charlene the Rock in the name of Jesus, Lord. I thank you. I thank you. I thank you in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. So, Hallelujah. Somebody and wanna speaking over. <laughs> and he was speaking over me. Um, the Lord brought another word to me that I had wrote before. And he says, Hallelujah. He's breaking the spirit of rejection. He's releasing yes. love, acceptance, yes. peace, and joy. He's breaking yes. the stronghold yes. of religion over Hallelujah. this region. It Thank bows. You. Hallelujah. We bind the attack of the enemy against the region's voices, the sound yes, is producing pure press yes, anointing that the enemy has tried to crush you. <clears throat> but the Lord says the enemy will not crush you, for I am embracing you to press out the pure refined oil that will produce a sound of harvest for the revival, a sound that will, be, that will defeat every thought and mindset. For when you sing this new song the enemy will run in fear he fears the blood and the power that you carry within you completely surrender and say yes to me and i will take your vow your covenant your promise and i will send you with power and fire to go and preach and minister in new ways that you have never done before for you cannot do this only i can says the lord Ooh. Powerful. Not by might, not by power, but by my the spirit, spirit, Charlene. Yes. In Jesus' name. For the spirit of the He's Lord is breaking there. the Jesus spirit of name. rejection. Yes. Telling Jesus that person name. on this live tonight. He's breaking that spirit of rejection over you. Of you He's Lord. embracing you to pour out the pure refined oil that he's placed in you do not mm -hmm. think the enemy is coming against you to crush you the lord mm -hmm. says i am embracing you that is me oh, that is not the enemy 
It's Thank him you. pressing you mm. to produce the Hallelujah. pure oil so that you can Hallelujah. do the ministry that he's called Hallelujah. you to. It's for your good. Hallelujah. For your good. Hallelujah. Amen. Come on. Thank you. Turn Hallelujah. for the good. Turn Thank you. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Amen. You know what? I got to go, but I want to, <laughs> I just want to release this as I go. You know, I was just hearing that baby cry in the background of Tim's. That's the most beautiful sound. That's yes. the sound of life. That's a new birth. Sound of life. Yes. Lord. New. You know, we came in this Thank world you. all shouting. We, we, you know, so out of the mouth come of us. babes comes the Ooh, life of Christ, uh, comes the word of God. And I just want everybody to Thank know you. it's a, it's a new beginning for all of us. Thank you, it's brand new now. Those who believe in Jesus. You have Thank the you. same spirit. The, you haven't Thank received you. any other spirit. No spirit of fear, Hallelujah. but you have power, Hallelujah. love, and a sound and mind. A sound it, is, it is Christ, the anointed one. Hallelujah. Jesus Christ, the anointed one, who has given you Thank himself. You, he died on the cross for our sins. Thank you, Lord. As you believe in him, put all your faith and trust in him. He completed. Hallelujah. Everything needed to be done for all of us to be babes born again. Born again means I've acknowledged Jesus. I know him yes, for God. who he is. Where Hallelujah. the spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty and freedom. Hallelujah. You know that the same exact spirit that raised Jesus from the Thank dead you, is alive in the born again. And you, as you know him and acknowledge Jesus, he lifts you up by the spirit, your spirit born again by Thank him you, who lives in you. Can you imagine that? Eyes not seen, ears not heard, nor has it entered into the heart of a man what God has in store for those who know that He loves them. Hallelujah. God is love. Come on, come on, man. And give His only begotten Hallelujah. Son. That whoever just believe in Him, you will not perish. You will not be left alone. You will not. You will not have destruction. You won't die. You, you overcome the spirit of fear and death itself. For Jesus is the firstborn Son of all of us. We're all family. We He lives in us. That's the free gift of salvation. He's given us His life so that we would know Him. As we know Him, we're, we're babe. We all have the same gift. That's eternal life of His Spirit. Those who seek first the kingdom of God, you find Him for He's here. He's in you. For you, your spirit is one. As He is, so are we now. I believe we're coming to greater, greater revelation by the spirit of god who dwells in the church that we are the church the full body we're the church of jesus christ we're where god is for god is within us the kingdom of god is within us as we seek first the kingdom of god within each one of us he manifests himself in us the bible clearly says how god the father blessed jesus with the holy spirit power who went around doing good healing all who were sick and oppressed by the devil for the Lord that God was with him. As for God manifested himself to destroy the works of the devil, so much more now those who believe in Jesus and receive his blood. We've all been washed and cleansed by the same blood. 2021 you, years ago, our King, Thank God, you, the Son of God, hung on the cross for all of our sins, not Thank his. You so that we would know him today as he lives in us. The kingdom of God Thank is you, here now manifesting as, as the father was Thank well pleased listen, by the son's sacrifice, the firstborn son of us. Thank he you, sacrificed Lord. once and for all that we all may come to know him for who he is, for he Thank lives you, in us. Our spirit is one Thank together you, as we're being gathered together tonight in the spirit with God where the spirit of God is the liberty, where the spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty and freedom. To walk in the Thank spirit, you. you will not fulfill the lust of the flesh. Hallelujah. They're contrary to another. So we'll stay in the spirit mm -hmm. as we're all in the spirit. We're all washed by the blood. There's no more Hallelujah. sacrifice. Thank God I don't have to sacrifice an animal because mm -hmm. the Lamb of God, Jesus Christ, was chosen mm -hmm. before the foundation of this world yes, to be God. slain, and he was for all of us. Therefore, the body of in reserve, also not only the Lamb of God, Jesus, was chosen for him to be slain, but the body, there's Thank a body Lord. chosen for him to live in. God Hallelujah. is spirit, life, and truth. And Hallelujah. those who find it find the answer to the gift of eternal life that our spirit dwells in the heart 
Out of the abundance of our heart, the mouth speaks as babes. We're all babes. Together we live in his kingdom. For his his light has come. For the spirit of the living God is here in us. Together we can do all things together in Christ, the anointed one and his anointings as we're all anointed. If you don't know you're anointed in the spirit, tonight is your night as we together as family, each one of us together tonight are in the same joint heirs with Jesus and co-heirs with Christ, the anointed one. And as he is today in heaven, so are we now on the earth speaking the word by his spirit. When you know you got his spirit, open up your mouth with a mighty decree. Psalms 81 says, I will fill it up. I will put my word in your mouth. You will speak and you'll know it's not you speaking. It's God. Amen. Jesus said, if my word abides in you and I abide in you. He said, Jesus, show us the Father. He said, if you've seen me, you've seen seen the the Father. Father. For the Father and I are one together by the Spirit. Therefore, if we know the truth of the kingdom of God, as the kingdom of God's within us, so is the Spirit of the one who saved us, Jesus Christ. Spirit is the anointed one within us. He is with the full body of Jesus. We're the body of Christ where the Spirit of God lives in us. So be free. Walk in the Spirit. You will not fulfill the lust of the flesh. So we live in the Spirit where God is. God is Spirit, life, and truth. And those who worship in the Spirit. I'm so thirsty right now. You know why I get thirsty, Charlene? <laughs> I'm going to tell you the truth. God showed this to me today. He said, Lance, I'm thirsty. If anyone thirsts, let him come to Jesus and drink from his, his Spirit's in you. So when I get thirsty... I go to pick up a drink, and I drink a drink. And I hear in my spirit, Jesus said, that tastes good to us. Take another sip, Lance. Hallelujah. I had a revelation this morning. I'll leave on this. Michelle Campbell on here sent me a coffee cup from Newfoundland. It's got her mm-hmm. national flag on the, on the outside of that coffee cup, and I had it this morning, and I drank from it, and I heard God, Michelle, Say in the spirit, you're drinking from the cup that I drank from, Lance. For I am with you, in you always. He said, I'll never leave you, son. I'm with you into the uttermost ends of the earth. I'm with you always. He said, tell Michelle that when she sent that cup to you, she sent it to me and she didn't even know it. Neither did you. I'm with her and I'm with you. She blessed you with that cup. Hallelujah. Amen. My cup runneth over Hallelujah. by the Spirit of God. You've entertained angels and didn't know it. Hallelujah. Yes, indeed. You Hallelujah. The, you give unto the least likely. You Stop. give unto the Lord, for the Lord thy God is with us all. Thank you. Lord. By the same Spirit we now live. Can we Thank see you, the Word of God? Do you have eyes and ears to hear from the Lord? Yes, God. For He is your Spirit, He dwells within you. He's Hallelujah. here right now in you, you and all of you on here. As I go, I don't want you to see me. Hallelujah. I don't want to lift up me, my ministry. It's not about me. It's not about my ministry. Hallelujah. It's about Jesus and his it's ministry. About Jesus, yes, Lord. We're all together. All of Come us on. is one. Amen. Yes, I'm willing. God. I'm laying my things down for the things pertaining to his kingdom will manifest in all. For Thank we're you. all joint heirs and co-heirs. Do you guys know that truth? Thank you, Lord. And you know that truth, you'll lay Thank your you. life down. Amen. Yes, Do you God. follow Paul or Apollos? Do you follow mm-hmm. Lance or Tim mm-hmm. or Alba or mm-hmm. Matthew or Charlotte or Wilmer? No, we follow the Jesus. We follow Jesus. Oh, Amen. Yes, Lord. Don't follow me. Amen. Yes, follow God. Jesus. Are we all of the same co heirs? Yes, God. Amen. All the joint heirs. May the love yes, Lord. of God manifest in all of us now. Yes. For I hear God say, Lance, if you give your life to Alba and Matthew and Charlene and Wilma <laughs> and give your life to Tim, you're giving your life unto me. That's mm-hmm. what I hear him say to me. He said, lay your life down for them. When you do, you go below yes. them. Don't lift yourself yes. up. I'll draw all men to you. Come on. Thank now you. may the spirit of the living God manifest in all his children. Yes, and let God. us all know that we are co-heirs. With him who lives in us by his spirit, we live and speak. If my speech be any 
of myself or humanistic wisdom or natural carnal mind, it's no good. But if my speech be of the living God, as he dwells and lives, may he speak out of my mouth, flowing by the abundance of mouth. Let, let, let us speak as babes. Amen. His yoke is easy. His burden is light. For but yet a light affliction. We may suffer in this world, but a light affliction, nothing can compare to the greater works of Jesus of the Spirit of God manifest in all of his children. I believe this is the day of the Lord approaching quickly as Jesus is coming for his body. Yes, honey. And we are all his body. Together we can do all yes, things God. together. Speaking by the same spirit as he is in us, he's called our names to join together in the spirit that we will worship in the spirit and speak in the spirit as he is in the spirit with us speaking out of our heart, out of each one of us gifts of God. So may you receive tonight the gift of, the, of, of God as the spirit of God dwells in us. We're sacrificed by the blood of Jesus once and for all. You believe and put your faith in Jesus. He'll, he will arise in you by the same spirit. You'll know him for he lives in you. And his word is very near you, even yes, in God. your mouth. Fresh fire. Yes, I love God. you guys. I See you later, Lance. Thanks, Lance. Bless you, Lance. Thank you, bless you, Lance. Lance. I love all of you. Thank you. God bless you, guys. Be too. blessed. God bless, bless you, too, in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Wow. Thank you, Lance. Thank you, Lord. Thank you so much. Mm. Thank you, Father. Um, what a blessing. Lisa Hicks. Hallelujah. Lisa Hicks. Hallelujah. Um, I felt the Lord say when I brought up your name, um, that there has been some hiccups in your life. Mm -hmm. I mean, like, uh, physical hiccups. I, I, I mean, I don't mean like the, you know, the kind you, the kind that come up through your, through your belly and up, you know, and you make that noise with your mouth or whatever. There's just been some hiccups in your life and that. And it, and you know, it doesn't matter whether they were expected or unexpected. But what I, what I feel like the Lord is saying, at Lisa, is I feel like He's saying that the hiccups that have been happening in your life, they're gonna be, they're gonna be uh, quenched by the river that I'm about to release. You know, Lance is just talking about the living water, and how when he takes a drink, you know, that you know, when one of the ways we get rid of hiccups is that we drink water, and one of the ways I do it is I grab my temples like this and I hold my breath and I drink a cup of water. But uh, I feel like the Lord is going to relieve you of those hiccups, those hiccups that are in your life. And he's, and he's going to do it. And it's going to be very, it's going to be, it's going to be very, very smooth. It's going to be like, there, there it's going to be literally, it's going to be like physical hiccups. It's going to be all of a sudden, it's going to be like they're there and they're gone. Mm -hmm. It's like one, one fluid motion. Thank you. And uh, I just want to uh, just want to bless you because uh, I feel like I feel like the, the, the you that you've uh, endured these hiccups for quite a lot for quite a long time, and that uh, you've been praying and you've been seeking the Lord Thank and you you've Lord. been and you've been and you've been you've been pressing into Him for relief. And I feel like relief is coming with, for those with those hiccups. And um, and uh, I. Uh, I just, you know, if, if this word uh, ministers to you, Lisa, I just want you to just put up a comment here. She's already saying yes. Yes. So uh, I just thank you, Father, for Lisa, and I thank you for her life. Father, I thank you, God, that she, uh, Lisa, you're an overcomer. You're an overcomer. And so I just thank you, Father, for, for taking her higher, taking her higher, and uh, allowing her, to, Lord God, to uh, soar above her circumstances above her circumstances in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. I thank you, Lord. I thank you, Father. Who wants to pray for David Atchison? David, I'll, I'll take David. Hallelujah. David, I keep hearing the word peace over you. Peace. My, my, my peace I leave to you. My peace I give you. Not like the world gives, but like I give unto you. And I keep you in perfect peace. I, I feel you've been in a season of, of like chaos, but the Lord's bringing order to your life. I feel that God's going to order your steps in this time and this season. I, I see your man who 
a good steward of finances. I see a lot of money come into your hands, and I see you're a very giving person. And the, the Bible says that those who give, give with liberality. And I see you're a very giving person. And as you give a press down, shaking together, measure running over, it's going to be given back into your bosom. But I also see you're a man of structure and a man of plan. The Lord shows me that you like to plan. You're a man of blueprints and you like to plan before you do anything. And God says that my hand is upon you. And God says that I am taking you to a deeper place to know me. Know me. You know me at a surface level. But you're going to know me at a deeper level in this time and this season. You know me at, at the shore of the waters, but I'm calling you beyond the shore of the waters. I'm calling you to deep, as deep calls of the deep on the roar of the many waterfalls. But I want you to get to know me at a deeper level. Not just, not just religion. Not just religion, says the Lord. Relationship. It's a deeper relationship that I'm calling you to. And the deeper relationship that I'm calling you to, to get to know my heart, because I am your father. I am your father. And the spirit of sonship comes upon you today. And it breaks it off any orphan mentality. Any orphan mentality is trying to attack your identity. It's broken now. In the name of Jesus, I speak sonship over you. In Jesus' mighty name. If that meant anything to you, please give some deep feedback. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. All right, right, this one's for you. Uh, ah, okay. Ah, mm -hmm. I see. I hear the spirit, not only for Ken, but for many in the line, that there's many that are being birthed tonight. This very day, there's many of you that are being birthed tonight. You have been, you have been through the fire, and they're coming out now. Glory to God. Many of you are coming out of the fire. You, you are being rebirthed. You're being rebirthed, glory to God. Mm. And we declare life over you in Jesus' mighty name. So, uh, man of God, can hallelujah. May God's hand be upon you in this hour. May the strength of the Almighty rest upon you. May God himself be glorified in your life and bring you peace in Jesus' mighty name. Anybody else for Ken? Thank you, Lord. Ken, I'm hearing the word apostolic. I'm hearing the word apostolic. And, uh, and, and you're a sent one. The Lord shows me apostolic. There's an apostolic grace on your life. You are sent one where whenever the Lord sends you to a place, he sends you with a purpose. And 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 um, I hear the word builder. The Lord's calling you to build something. I don't know if you started yet, but the Lord's called you to build something. And, and I hear the word edifice. And I, I hear the word uh, edify. Edify my people. Edify the body of Christ. Edify because you're a man who studies greatly. You remind me of Paul. Paul who knew the law. Paul, who knew the law when it when it came to the Hebrew, and then he also knew the he was all things to all men that he may win some. So I feel that the Lord's also giving you wisdom to win souls, wisdom to minister to people, wisdom to know what God has called them to, because God is giving you a grace on your life for administration to administer the gifts and to send them out one by one by one. But in this season, the Lord says, send them out by twos. Send them out by twos. You're gonna send them out by twos. For the Lord says, you're gonna start to see. I'm going to send couples to you. I'm going to send couples to you. I'm going to send married couples, and I'm going to send couples that are going to be married. I'm going to send it to you, and I'm going to send them out by two, says the Lord. You're going to see how my hand says that the Lord's going to use you to counsel. I see the spirit of counsel, because the Bible says that the in the book of uh, Isaiah chapter 9, verse 6, his name will be Wonderful counselor and i see the counselor flowing through you and i and i also see the wisdom of god through through much counsel you wage war and you're going to be helping people to be able to get the territory that the lord has given to them to possess the land for the lord says in this time in this season i'm bringing the labors for you cried out for the harvest because the harvest is plentiful but the labors are few you're about to see that the few is going to multiply because you've been faithful over the little, I'm placing you over much. Uh, for I hear Isaiah 54, and you're breaking out to the left and to the right. Uh, and I'm expanding your tent pegs in this time and this season. Uh, sing, O oh, barren one. For the Lord says, you no longer will be barren, even as Alba said. Uh, it's time to give birth. Give birth to the business. Give birth to the ministry. For I see multiple streams of income on your life, man of God. 
multiple streams of income. You are a man of strategy. I see great strategy. The Bible says the weapons of a warfare are not corner. That word warfare in the Greek is strategia, strategy. And the Lord yes. is giving you strategy to dismantle strongholds and to bring yes, them down yes, yes. like never before. But I also see that the Lord has been shifting you from Jacob to Israel. You are a prince of God. You are a prince of God. Your name has changed. The Lord says, I changed your name. Your name shall be Israel. Israel. And you want to go to Israel. And I believe the Lord's going to open doors for you to go to Israel in Jesus' mighty name. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Hey, I'm hearing, I'm hearing this corporately. I'm hearing this corporately. The scripture says it in Isaiah. That when you're going through birth pains, it, you, you feel the pain. But when the joy of the child comes forth, when the child comes forth, when the child comes forth, birth tonight, birth tonight, no longer be that rebellious child that does not want to come out. I put a post on Facebook. There's a scripture in the Bible where it talks about a child that doesn't want to come out. I doesn't want to come out. And the Lord's calling you out, many of you. The Lord's calling you out of the cave of the doom. The Lord's calling you out of the, the cave of depression. The Lord's calling you out of that place of, of, of darkness. The Lord's calling you out of the cave. He's calling you out. Elijah's come forth. Elijah's come forth. You're not the only prophet. You're not the only prophet. Come out of that place. Come out of that place. You're not the only prophet. Come out. Come out. For the Lord says, I'm unifying the prophets. I'm going to unify the prophets. This is a word from the Lord. I feel it strongly. I'm going to unify the prophets with those speak the same word. They'll speak the same word. It will no longer be one speaking this and the other one speaking that. No, it will be a united voice. I hear one voice. One voice, one blood, one Lord, one church, one ecclesia. John chapter 17. Father, it's me and you are one, that those that they may be one with you. Father, I have known you that they may know you. The unity that is coming upon the body of Christ in 2022, you're going to start to see a unified church. In the in the Ooh, secular, hallelujah. but you should also see it in the body of Christ for the Lord breaking down the walls of denomination. The Lord's breaking down the walls of denomination. The Lord's breaking down the walls of denomination. For I am not in denomination. I am not in denomination. I am in relationship. I am an intimacy. I am an intimacy. I am an intimacy. Get, 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 I am an intimacy. Get to know me. Seek me my, while I may be found. No longer denominations. Denominations. I'm unifying and I'm purifying the voice. Even like in my words, says in Zechariah, a pure Thank voice, Lord, a hallelujah. pure voice. I'm purifying hallelujah. the prophetic voices of this hour. For there's a fire to refine in this time, in this season. There's a refiner's fire that there could be tried seven times and come out as gold, says the Lord. Thank you, Father. Hallelujah. Wilmer. Many of them. Hallelujah. Wilmer, are you are you um sorry I just have to I just want to ask you a question. Are you are you Mexican? Hallelujah. Colombian. <laughs> Colombian, okay. Yeah. Colombian. I just wanted to know. You know what, uh Wilmer? Um I'm uh I, I please don't take this the wrong way, but I yes, I, just, yes, I, yes. I just need to I just need to voice this. I'm pleasantly surprised. Um because I wasn't really sure what to expect from god in you because i don't okay. know you you know i i i 
you're you're um, you're a new face to me. I've never heard you before. You've been on with Mark Redner. I, that's all I know. But you know what? I, when I when I heard you, when I saw your name, and when I when I when I when I when I see you on the posters with Mark Redner, you know what I heard? I thought I, I thought I I you know someone, <laughs> and this is not bad. This is not bad. I I mean this out of sincerity, my heart. Honestly, I thought you'd be someone quieter. <laughs> like I didn't ex I didn't I didn't expect you to be I didn't expect you to be so on like you're yes, you're on fire yes, and um you, in your and and I have no problem with your voice at all and what I love about 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 you when you're talking and stuff like that is I love it when you speak in tongues hallelujah because I, I I you know what when it, when you speak in tongues when you've been when you've been speaking in tongues on this okay. broadcast I feel mm -hmm. an increase in the anointing. Yes, Lord. I feel like an I feel, I feel yes, like an God. elevation. I feel like an elevation in the anointing yes, when you're speaking in tongues. And if Hallelujah. I just had you speak in tongues the whole broadcast, I, can, I, I just feel like. In fact, I feel like you're. Here's what I'm feeling even right now as I say that and about the tongues. I feel like you're an igniter of the prophetic. Yes. You're an you're you're the you're the match that ignites the flame of the prophetic. Yes. Uh, and, uh, that, and I feel like that really happens when when when. Uh, when when you when you speak in tongues is that you're not only okay. when you're doing it you're doing it as you're prophesying and so as you're prophesying okay. and you're speaking in tongues you're like igniting this prophetic i know you're just igniting the prophetic yes. anointing and it's not just happening in you you're not just igniting it in you you're igniting mm -hmm. it in, in in charlene up there you're like igniting it in alba down there you're even igniting it in me and it's just it just boom and i know uh, the other thing i the other thing i want to say to you is that i believe that the lord says that uh, you will tread on heads of scorpions. Hallelujah. That you will Hallelujah. tread on the heads of scorpions and that you will not be that you will not be bit, that you will not be poisoned, and that you, will, that you will not die. Thank you, uh, and I feel like the Lord has out, has put you in a position where where um, it's like you could be bitten by a rattlesnake and the poison would have no effect on you. Hey! In the name Glory of Jesus. To God. In the name of Jesus. Glory I just, oh, I I felt that. I, I just I just I just bless, I bless, Hallelujah. I bless Jesus Ooh. DNA in you tonight. The Jesus Hallelujah. DNA in you tonight in the name of Jesus. Lord, I thank Hallelujah. you for, Lord, I thank you for complete blood mm. transfusion Hallelujah. for God in, uh, in uh, Wilmer Navarro tonight, Father. Hallelujah. I thank you, God, for the fire in this man's belly. I thank you, God, for the release, Lord God, of yes, your God. anointing, Lord God, and your, and your power. Yes, God. Lord God, I thank you for the release of fresh fire. I thank you for the release of revelation, God. I thank you for the increase of the prophetic on him, Lord Jesus, tonight. I thank you, God, for the increase of the Holy Spirit in his life in the name of Jesus. And I pray, God, that you would that you would just raise him up god in this hour god in fact wilmer i even feel like god is even calling you out even now as i speak god is just moving i feel like he's moving you to the forefront in this season yes, and yes, that there yes. are there are going to be many more opportunities for you and i feel like there's there's a going you're gonna you're gonna garner you're gonna garner a following on facebook you're gonna garner a following on social media and i feel like the lord says that that there is a there's a there's a ministry that he's launching you into and i feel like there's even there's even churches that you will go to and that there will there, there will be places that will welcome you in and they will honor the anointing that's upon your life and you will and you will be there to ignite that same you, prophetic Father. anointing you'll be there to ignite those churches and you'll be there to release the the in season the in season Amen. word of god the in-season word of God in the name of Jesus. Thank I just you, thank Lord. you, God, that well, you, you are on point. You, you are on point, and you are you are thank you are you, tremendously Lord. accurate in in everything you speak. And uh, every time you speak, I feel everything you say. And when you and when you and when you prophesied over me, I can't tell you how powerful that was. I can't tell you yes, what God. kind of an, uh, what kind of anointing it carried because God. you know what it was it was almost it was almost uh, uh it was a uh, it was a very holy moment that's right, for me. That's right, Stephanie. That's right. It was a very holy moment for me, and uh, um, you, I don't know how long uh, I hadn't mm. heard. I don't know uh, how long have you known Tim Kenner? I uh, I known him for quite some time. He prophesied over me, but we connected this year. We connected like we pray together daily. Daily oh. we talk and we and we pray together. Wow. So that's, 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 and, wow. and, and, and Kim, Tim, sorry, I said Kim, I meant Tim, sorry, but <laughs> he has a King Clement no anointing, but I want to just Ooh. testify of the word you just released to me. Growing up, I was very silent. So your words wasn't wrong. 
You were was not wrong. I did not be offended. Growing up, I was very silent. I was a uh, I was molested at a young age. The enemy tried to silence me ever since I was my mother's womb. The doctor told my mom to abort me. See that you cannot when you are called to be a voice of God. The devil cannot stop you from coming out. My father was killed when I was two years old. Jesus. When you have something to say, when you have something to say, the enemy's not going to stop it. But see, when I gave my life to the Lord, the Lord gave me a boldness. Mm -hmm. He put a boldness within me that I never had before. And I'm being very honest Hallelujah. with you. This boldness that I put within Hallelujah. me, he put it. And I, you know why I discovered it? In my name. My name, Wilmar, means famous or resolute. But it Hallelujah. also means helmet, like protection. But the word yes. Fernando means bold voyager. Bold voyager, and I identify like Thanks King God. David. Who is this uncircumcised Philistine coming against Hallelujah. the God angel armies of Israel? Today Ooh, I'll have your on, head Hallelujah. and I'll feed it to the birds and the beasts of the field. Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So, so, so I want to testify that. And there's, there's the other thing you said, you talked about. I'm trying to remember. Oh, uh, man, you said so much. I'm trying to remember. Just, just, just clarifying the, about the silence. Um, about the speaking in tongues. So this year yes. is the year 21. 21 in, in, in Hebrew is the number 300, which is Shin. And Shin is tongues of fire. And the Lord had me release that word about this year. This year was going to be a year tongues of fire. You're going to start seeing baptism of fire like never before. And that which was devouring okay. people, we will devour. It's the Hallelujah. spirit of Caleb and Joshua yes. taking over the giants of the land. Come on. We're not going to be like those who back away, mm -hmm. like the, the ten that, that were afraid of the giants of the land. The Lord's raising up people yeah. who have the spirit of Caleb and Joshua Hallelujah. who take the giants in the land. Hallelujah. So God God has given me this this voice. And it, it's so prophetic, too, when, when Tim had his son named Caleb. I, you know, I always found that very um, prophetic, you know, the, the, the name Caleb. Because the spirit of Caleb was like, let's go. Let's take them. You know, those giants are going to be bred to our mouth. Come on. Just like Samson. Because it was prophesied to me that I have a Samson anointed but without Delilah. Come on. When Samson grabbed the jawbone of a donkey and he slayed a thousand. Come on. It's just like that. But it's, it's the Lord who gave me this. But I'm not just a lion. I know how to be a lamb too. And, and it's, 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 something that, it's something that he balanced. It's something that... You, you know, and many times people have come against my yes. voice. But the Bible says, cry out loud, and spare not. The Bible says, cry out loud, and spare not. And John the, ba John the Baptist, one crying in the wilderness. And you said something. And here, now I remember. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Jeremiah 5.14 says, it's not my word like a fire, and my people would, and fire shall consume them. So you said that when I speak it in tongues, people are being ignited. The fire is coming out of my mouth, yes. is igniting other people. Yes, it's consuming yes. and setting other people on fire. Yes, Lord. But it's also yes. like Samuel, like Saul was yes. changing the company of the prophets. That is the anointing. I, and I, I give God all the glory and honor because I, I just, I'm just testifying, confirming what the man of God is saying. Yes. It's not about me. Yes. It's not about Amen. me. I'm, his son, I'm, the, I'm the Lord's son, you know, and I'm here to speak Amen. what the Lord has me to speak. And I want to say something to you, and I want to be honest and vulnerable because I, I've learned a lot about vulnerability. The enemy, and I thank you for your word, Charlene, what you're talking about. The enemy tried to attack me with rejection of Matthew because I wasn't going to be on tonight. Because I knew I heard the Lord when he told me I would be on Jesus. here tonight. Glory to God. See, there's an A. There's an A. There's an A. Thank you, Lord. Some people look at stature in the height. But God mm. looks at the heart. Yeah, I yes, I mean, yeah. This is a word the Lord said he's vulnerable because yeah. the word for the corporate body, there's an eighth one, and he said, There's another one. Yeah. God told Samuel, There's another one. <laughs> yeah, but, 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 say, yeah. Who was that other one? Yeah. David. David is still another one, and David was the eighth one, and the number eight means new beginning, and the uh, number eight means covenant. It means circumcision, circumcision of the heart. There was an eighth one, and just like, and it's always like that. And the Lord told me that that I would be. I was reading a, I was reading a book in Spanish recently, and the Lord told me I'll be like a Matthias. It looks like I don't belong there. <laughs> Matthew. <laughs> I don't belong there. But Matthias, Ma 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 Matthias. Matthew. Was, no, no, Matthias. Mm -hmm. The one who replaced Judas. Okay. He was the one who was counted as, as, as another one. It looked like he didn't belong there, but the Lord wow. put him there. Glory to God. 
you know, and, and, and God is sovereign. And all the days are written in fashion in his book. And, and, and I, I had to be honest and vulnerable because it, it, it's, that's what's needed in the body of Christ. That vulnerability yes. that I seen. Yes. And, and I was, that's why I loved him because he's so vulnerable and his other brother in Christ. And I've learned to be more vulnerable and open. Why? Because Thank vulnerability you. brings out revelation. Yes, the Bible says that a man of understanding, the Bible says the man of understanding draws out the treasure that is within earth. The Bible says there's this earthen, this treasure is in these earthen vessels. But in Proverbs it says that a man of understanding draws out what? I forgot what it says, but it says it draws out what's within the person. It draws yes. it out. And the Bible says that honesty is like a kiss yes, on the lips. See, when you're honest and you're truthful and you're vulnerable, it opens up other people to revelation. Mm, Why? Because you. the woman at the well spoke, revelation came to her. She said, are you a yes, prophet? Yes, Revelation started yes. coming to her. The same thing with Peter. Who do men say that I am? You are the Christ. You are the son of God. And he said, flesh and blood did not reveal this to you. But my father who is in heaven. Because, see, I, there's many voices that are arising in this hour. And, and, and all of the, those that are here, you know, and those who were here before on this, this but they're going to have people here, Matthew, those going to bring people here who are the ones that, that, that people, they give less honor to. People, not God. People give less honor to. People might reject, but the Lord says, I'm using those. I'm using the foolish thing to confound the wise. Mm. Listen, yeah. listen to the Lord's bringing these people. You're going to see it before your eyes because I'm in the presence of the Lord right now. Amen. The Amen. Lord's going to bring people Amen. who you least expect, yeah. and they're going to be yeah. the voice of the hour. Yeah. Yeah. I have another word for you. <laughs> I have something too when you're done. Um, you to the, the Lord says, Matthew. the Lord says, <clears throat> the Lord says you're his unexpected one. Yes, it is. Honey. You're his unexpected one. And he says, and I believe he says yeah. that because of your past, because of what you went through. And the yes. Lord says, you're the unexpected one. Uh, that some didn't expect to be here now. Mm, Jesus. Didn't expect you to make it quite Glory this far. Didn't expect you to do what you're doing now. And the Lord says that that is that is who uh, that is that is also you carry uh something nobody else nobody expects to hear from you. Thank you, Lord. you carry you carry that you, fire Lord. that nobody expects. You carry mm. that you carry that anointing that nobody would expect from you. I didn't expect yes, it. I didn't expect it. I didn't know who you were. I didn't know where you who you uh, where you came from. I didn't know your background. I didn't know your giftings. I heard you were very prophetic. That's all I knew about you. But the Lord says you're his unexpected one because nobody else expected you to be here Thank but you. him. Thank you for but that. him. Mm. That's it. Charlene, what do you got? Um, hold on one second. Um <clears throat> So I just want to say that your story is very much the same as mine. Um, I was silenced and very quiet. Um, but God, but God. And um, Amen. he's given me a book that I'm starting to write, and it's called Silence No More. And it's empowering Amen. you to find your voice after trauma. Thank you, Lord. Because the enemy tries to silence our voice because it's what God uses in us. He told us to to go out and tell. He wants mm -hmm. us to have our voice. It's it's what he created us for. Thank you. Lord. Praise and worship him. To tell others of him. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Lord. Yeah. But um. Thank you, Lord. He says, "I'm raising up an army of the rejected." Yeah. You're chosen, and you have a unique fire that will go to the nations. Use your testimony. He's giving you new eyes to see yourself the way he sees you. You're beautiful. Focused prayer will move mountains. Remember what God has done to keep you going. You're approved by him. You have a mantle of Stephen. To see into his glory. Yes, God. Yes, God. Yes, God. God has been tucking things into your heart. 
and just waiting for his timing to release it. When it's the right time, he will accomplish his will in you. Yes, God. God has healed you so that you can have a ministry of healing and deliverance. Jesus. Confirmation. My hands are on fire. And literally, before she even spoke it, as she was speaking over you, the Lord said, because of what he's been through, I have anointed him with the fire that when he touches people, they will be set free. Glory to God. That when you speak over people, they will be healed. Glory to God. It's complete confirmation. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. And as we were speaking earlier, as Matthew was speaking over you, and as you were speaking, Brother Vilmer, glory to God, I could see the fire of God coming upon you. I could see this, this one, this extent was greater than what you had before. Glory to God. It feels like tonight God has birthed something within you. He has pushed that so hard that that baby has come out. Glory to God. And I give God all the praise in Jesus' mighty name. Receive all the blessings that God has for you tonight. Yes, Charlena, I want to say this because I felt this from the Lord. The rejected is the now is the selected. The rejected is now the selected. Yes, hallelujah. Wow, Lord. I did not I didn't know he was going to do all of this today. <laughs> but you said, you said it, come with expectation. That's the word that God gave you. Yes, Lord, hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Matthew, thank you for your obedience. Thank you for your obedience. It's all him, man. I just try to do what he says. That's it. So, it you know, I, I have I have to say, you know, um, some people we try to make out we try to make out this life of faith to be difficult. Like yes. it's like some kind of formula we can't discover. But yeah. you know what? It's not difficult. not difficult. This isn't algebra, you guys. The Christian <laughs> life is not algebra. The Christian life is a simple my life surrendered knowing Jesus plus obedience equals him glorified. Glory that's it. That's it. That's all it is. That's Thank all you. the, that's all the Christian life is, is a surrendered life who loves Jesus doing exactly what he tells them to do and Thank doing you. it with a, with a humble heart and um, knowing that it's not them. It's not them. It's him. Thank you. It's Lord. him. That's as simple as it is. Obedience and surrender. That's all it is. That's Thank all it Lord. is. That's the Christian life right there. Because Amen. within the obedience and surrender, you have everything else. You have Bible. You, you have your Bible reading. You have your disciplines like prayer. You have your fasting. You have Amen. everything it without. All obedience and surrender is just the outworking of those things. Yes, Lord. That's what it is. Obedience it's just is the outworking of those things. Hallelujah. As disciples, that's what we do. We spend time with the Lord in our in our place, in our private, in our secret place. And then when the Lord and then we, when you come out of the secret place, what the Lord has given you in secret, you can now offer in the in, in the in public. You can now offer, you know, I it's simple. It's it's the I experience that all the time. The thing there, it happens to me when I haven't been in secret. Things come out of me I didn't expect. And it's just a simple, it's just a simple obedience. That's all it is. That's all it is. You know, um, there's a couple of people on here that uh, have been on almost the whole time. And I want to, I want to, I want to take an opportunity to bless them. Um, Matthew, I have a word. Glory to God. For I don't know. I don't know who this is for. Okay. But a glory to God. A God is showing me that there's, I want to say, one or two people that are dealing with eye issues, eye issues, glory to God. I decree and declare that God knows your name. I decree and declare that tonight you will see clearly. Your vision will be 100% in Jesus' name, 2020 mm -hmm. vision, even Hallelujah. now in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Receive the, the vision of God. Receive, ah, glory to God. Not only he's giving you sight, but he's giving you a vision, a new vision. Have, make a, you know, make a plan and have, have you know, glory to God. Hallelujah. Habakkuk 2. Write the vision plainly on a tablet. That's, That's what you're it. saying. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. Hallelujah. Mm, thank you, Lord. 
can can hallelujah receive in jesus mighty name receive total deliverance total healing in your eyes even now in jesus name let god restore the sight of your mind hallelujah <laughs> glory to god the sight of your mind the sight in the natural and the sight in the spirit in jesus mighty name mm. uh -huh. whoever that is receive the power of god receive the vision in jesus mm -hmm. name receive the sight in jesus mm -hmm. name mm -hmm. glory to god mm -hmm. in jesus mighty name let it be mm -hmm. done so according to god's word god's way and god's timing now mm -hmm. it is now in jesus name amen, amen. thank you lord mm -hmm. this this ch this lady right here has been on the whole time i think since near the beginning anyway and i just want to i just want to take a moment and have one of you pray for her uh I just got to go back and find her name now. She disappeared. There she is. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. I just spoke over her and Bishop's broadcast today. Thank you, Lord. So we won't, we, Alba won't, let's not have Alba this time. <laughs> I can't. So, Charlene, you got this. I thought you got this. Tag. Go ahead. Tag your ears. What I was seeing is that she has a seer's vision. Yes. That you're going to see in the spirit things to come. That the Lord's going to open you, Lord. your your spiritually eyes. Thank you, Lord. As your last name starts with seer. Mm -hmm. And so I just saw see you have a seer's vision. If you don't have it now, it's coming. <laughs> in Jesus' name. Oh, Lord, I just thank you for Julie, Father God. I thank you. I thank you for the woman of God she is, Father God. I thank you. Lord, I ask that you pour a blessing on her and her family, Father God, that you just anoint her, Father God. Lord, that you do give her spiritual eyes to see what's to come, Father God, that you would give her the, the boldness to speak out what she sees, Father God, as it comes, Lord, that, that it, um, the gifting wouldn't be just for her, but Lord, that it would be used for the body, Father God, that you would open her eyes to see the need for her gift in Jesus' name. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Mm. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. I just focus on a similar word to her. Glory to God. The the Julie Julie Julie. I see I see an artist's gift. I see an artistry. I don't know if you draw. I, I I'm taking I'm taking a leap of faith here. I don't know if you draw, paint. I see artistry with you. I don't even see poetry. And and I and I feel when you do these when you do poetry and you do these things, the Lord uh your that's how God speaks to you. There's a scribal anointing after I'm done releasing this word, Shirley. Can you impart into her what you have to write? Because I feel there's an impartation. Ooh, I feel there's an impartation that's gonna come upon her. So so the, the Lord shows me there's a tongue of the ready writer. The tongue of the ready writer, and you're ready to write. And the Lord speaks to you through diary. I see you writing diary. And and, and, and but I see, yes, artistry, but I also see something with writing. There's something where you're, where you're writing that's very particular, that's very unusual, that's very different. And God speaks to you through the expression of writing, but I see the artistry as well, because you're, you do very vivid uh, uh, drawings or paintings. The Lord shows me that too. And, and God says, yes, fan of flame the gift that is within you. The spiritual gift, the spiritual gift, and also... The natural gifts. Psalm 26. When the Lord restored the fortune of Zion, they'll be like those who dream again. Hallelujah. Thank you. Dream again, my daughter. Dream again. Dream again. Dream again. For the dream killers won't stop the dream. The, the dream killers won't stop the vision. Just like Joseph. Hey, it will happen. Go ahead, Charlene. Julie, I just 
speak to you right now, Father God, that your anointing would flow out of her, Father God. The Lord, as she puts her pen to the paper, Father God, that it would be just your spirit flowing out of her. Lord, that she would be writing the new words that you have to speak, Father God. Is our life as a living testimony and a word, Father God, that it would just flow out of her, Lord. It would flow out of her. She wouldn't even have to think about it. That Lord, she would just put the pen to the paper and it would flow out like it does with me, Father God. Lord, as I just willingly apply the pen to the paper and I say, Lord, whatever you want to say, I'll write it. Whatever you want to do, I'll write it. Lord, whatever you want to speak to the people, I'll write it. And I just simply allow whatever word comes to my mind to be written down on the paper. And sometimes it doesn't seem to make sense to me, but when I read it, it makes sense to whoever I read it to. So, Father God, I just pray that you put this anointing of writing upon her, Father God, the Lord, that she would not even think about it, Father God, that it would just flow. It would flow from you. It would flow from you. It would flow from you in Jesus' name. Bring up a well, spring up a well, spring up a well, spring up a well. Thank you for the giftings and the talents that you placed in her from her birth, Father God. Lord, they would, they would rise up. They would rise up. They would rise up in this season, in this time, Father God. For such a time as this, you have given her this gift in Jesus' name. So much glory over her glory to yeah. God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. I saw a prayer request from Donna earlier about her grandchild that's in the hospital, I believe. Yes, yes, yes. So, Lord, Father God, we just come to you right now and we ask for your healing power over that baby, yes, Father God. God. Lord, that your healing touch would come over that baby in that hospital room. Lord, that every in- infirmity, every sickness, everything that's not in alignment with the way you created that baby to be would come into alignment with your perfect plan for her or his life, his life as India, India's life. And Father God, that you would just move. You would have your way, Father God. Lord, your your healing. By your stripes he was healed, Father God. I pray a blessing over this baby. I pray a blessing over this baby. Every attack of the enemy over this child's life stops now in the name of Jesus. We bind it in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. A breath of life over it. Hallelujah. We speak life over Hallelujah. this baby. We speak life Weed over this baby. Over this baby Lord. Mm-hmm. Oh, greater is his destiny, God. Greater is his destiny, Lord. We ask that you breathe life over that child, God. You breathe the breath of life over them, God. You touch them with the touch of healing, God. The touch of the balm of Gilead, God, that heal of God, hallelujah. The, the balm of Gilead that restore of God in Jesus' name. Let it be done over this child according to your word, God, according yes. to your promises. But for yes. they are yes, yes and amen, amen, God. And they never change, God. Hallelujah. Your word never changes, God. Oh, ah, for you are the true and living God, a true yes, judge, a true righteous judge oh, that amen. decides who lives and who goes. Hallelujah. Yes, and Lord, we decree and declare the decision for yes, over this baby that he yes, shall yes, live and not die yes, and declare yes, the word yes, of God yes, over yes, his yes, life yes, and over the lives of others, yes, God. In yes, Jesus' name, let his destiny prosper, God. Yes. Hallelujah. In Jesus' name, even now. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Lord, I pray that you even hide this baby like you hid Moses from the enemy's attack, Father God, that you would hide this baby from the enemy's attack, Father God, that it would the enemy would not even be able to see this child on the radar for there's a destiny on this child's life so father god we pray for a hedge of protection over this child the lord is the enemy tries to take us out when we're when we're infants 
when we have a great calling in our life, Father God, I pray for this child to fulfill the destiny that you have created it for in Jesus' name. I declare and decree that this child will live and fulfill its destiny in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord. Donna. I just have a quick question for you, and I, I want to. You can answer honestly because I believe that you know if this is what the Lord is revealing to me, then um, then uh, you know He Thank wants you, you to be. He wants to do something for you in this regard. Um, you. Have you had any any background or any 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 uh, history with witchcraft? Mm. Jesus. Jesus. Have you had any background or 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 uh, history with witchcraft? If I'm, you can, and if it's, and if no, that's fine. Don't pro, no problem. In fact, I would love it to be known. I, I'm talking hearing, to Donna, Donna something. Thompson. Yes. Yeah, I'm. I'm gonna take a step of faith. I'm. I'm hearing. I don't know. If, I don't know. If I'm just taking. I'm not saying it's the Lord, but I'm hearing horoscope. I don't know if, if there's anything with that. Mm. In the maybe in the in the past. I feel that too. In the past, wow. that's what I hear. I'm around it at work. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. mm, Jesus. The blood of Jesus. Mm -hmm. We bind the hand of the enemy around her. In Jesus' ahead, mighty Alma. name. And we Bring decree and declare the fire of God to burn up. All that is unclean in that place in Jesus' mighty name. In Jesus' mighty name. And we draw a line in the sand. We draw the line of Christ. Hallelujah. We draw the line of Christ on the sand. And we say you have no rights in this territory. You have no rights in this family. You have no power and no legal rights over this family. We bind you in Jesus' mighty name. And we shut close every door that has been opened yes. in Jesus' mighty name. We shut every door that has been opened to that witchcraft, God, to, to whatever it, it is dark, God, whatever comes from darkness, God. We shut his door, God, in the face and we bind them forever to never come oh. back again in Jesus' mighty name. Yes, we declare Lord. the fire of God to burn it all up yes, in Lord. Jesus' name. Mm, yes, thank Lord. you, Lord. Thank yes, you, Lord. Lord. Mm. Yes. Thank you, Father. Send yes, your Lord. warring angels on that place, God, and deliver them all. Send yes, your warring Lord. angels on that place and deliver them all, God. Deliver yes. them all. For your word declares, God, that you take no pleasure on the death of the wicked, God. Therefore, we call forth, God, on the angels of the Almighty, the army angels of God, to go in on assignment and arrest yeah. every spirit of darkness on that place. Yeah. And light, bring the light of Christ in their midst now, in Jesus' name. Cause them to know God. Cause them to know Jesus, the Lord and Savior. Cause them to receive salvation, God. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray, Lord. Mm, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. We give you praise, God, that you're breaking the powers and the bands of witchcraft, God. Even now in that place, God, in Jesus' mighty name. Mm. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father, that you're washing it clean. You're washing it clean even now, God, in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Let it be done even now, Lord, according to your word and your mercy, God, according to your grace. Huh? Mm -hmm. For it is sufficient for all of us, God. In Jesus' mighty name we pray, Lord. Mm. Thank you, Lord. Wilmer. Yes, sir. Speak in tongues regarding this. Jeremiah 2329 says, Lord, it says that it's not your word like a fire, like a hammer that breaks the rock to pieces, that pulverizes the rock to pieces. So, Father, we send your word like a fire and a hammer that breaks the rock to pieces. And the book of Jeremiah says that you are the battle. We are your battle axe, God. So we release the battle axe of the Lord against everything that's becoming against Donna. We speak to that atmosphere. Shift. Shift now in Jesus' name. 
Father, we release the glory of God over that place right now. Let the light of God enter and shatter all darkness, God. We thank you for angels moving now. You command your angels, God. Angels that hearken at the voice of the word. Ministering angels, flames of fire, flames of flames of fire, Fresh fire, fresh right now, Jesus Backlash spirit in Jesus' name, die by fire now. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Huh? We hear the voice of the Lord and other voices we will not hear, we will not receive, we will not accept in Jesus' mighty name. We declare the fire of God to overtake and overthrow. Now, in Jesus' name, glory to God. Mm, Donna, you, do you Lord. speak in tongues? Hallelujah. Do you speak in tongues? Uh, I guess the more uh, the more direct question would be, are you baptized in the Holy Spirit? The rivers flow. Let the rivers flow. Let it bubble up. Let it spring forth. Let it come up. In the book of Jude, it says, Pray your utmost faith and be strengthened. The Lord is binding up, Donna. You have been troubled even sleeping. And the Lord is dealing with the terror that comes by night. Yes, For the Lord says, you know, the hour of a day, you know, the terror by night will come near your dwelling tent. No evil, no harm, no plague will come near you. But God says, I'm breaking forth and I'm breaking through tonight. And I'm breaking, breaking the spirit of insomnia and that tormenting spirit and that anxiety has been attacking you in the night hour. I'm breaking the back. I'm breaking the back. I'm breaking the back. I'm breaking the back. I'm breaking and the Lord is going to give you sweet sleep. The Bible says that He gives His beloved sweet sleep, and that you can go to sleep in confidence because He's the one who makes you feel secure. He gives His beloved rest. The one who watches over Israel does not slumber. For the Lord said, I'm going to increase your discernment of spirit. I'm going to increase. I'm going to increase your ability to see because you have vision. You get impression and you have vision and you have dreams. And the Lord is going to is going to wash your gift like never before because the enemy is trying to put blinders over you. But the Lord's removing the blinders and you're going to be able to see like never before because the Lord is going to enhance and take to another level the discernment of spirits and the gift of discernment like never before. So you know the spirit behind the matter. Mm, like Jesus knew what was in the heart of 
Oh, uh, what's his name? It, it's in the book of John. He knew the heart of the man of God. He said, "There is the, mm -hmm. you are a man. There is no deceit in. Do you are a man? There's no, he knew the heart. And the Bible says he did not need no man to share testimony. He already knew what was in people's heart. Thank you, Lord. So I thank you for fresh wind and a fresh oil. Thank you, Lord. Fresh wind and fresh thank oil. We fresh speak over wind our hearts and fresh oil. now, God, in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. She she mentioned that she also feels a lightness in her heart also. Glory to God. I feel in my heart a lightness. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father. Lord, we glorify your name for what you're doing tonight on our life. We thank yes. you, God, that you are setting her free and the pressure of the enemy over her life and over her heart, God, over her mind, God, is breaking off even tonight, God, in Jesus' name. We thank you, God, that you are setting her free. Glory to God. For who the sun set free is free indeed. Glory to God. Lord, we glorify your name for you have set us all free. In Jesus' name we pray. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Mm, that your blood speaks of a better report. Your name and your glory speaks of a better report, God. Hallelujah. We give you praise, God. Mm. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Glory to Man, God. This has been Farine. so awesome. I just feel like Farine. I just feel like Matthew. Uh, go ahead. Uh, can I speak a word over Corinne, please? Glory to God. Go ahead. Uh, the yeah. Lord has been speaking to me since last night about her. Um, hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. But I just want to let her know that what your testimony is about to heal many people, sister, as you lay hands over people, God is going to cause them to come back to life. Glory to God. As you lay hands on them, they will recover. Glory to God. As you lay hands on them and people, they will be healed. Hallelujah. Therefore, exercise your faith in Christ because your testimony is a, of a greater of a greater day. Hallelujah. In Jesus name. Glory Look at this. To God. Look at Donna go. The thank, you, Father. thank you, Father. Thank God. you, Father God. The Bible says he lifts, he lifts up the crush in spirit. Thank you, yes. Jesus. Yes. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. We give you praise, God. And a Jesus broken Christ. spirit and a contrite heart he will not despise. Hallelujah. Mm, thank you, Lord. And the words are healing to the bone. Healing. Mm, healing. Thank you, Lord. Ooh, there's a healing anointing right now. Hallelujah. So yes, God. somebody here has back pain, and the Lord's going to heal that back pain. Hallelujah. It is on the right side, on the lower back. The Lord's healing right now, the lower back. He's releasing his healing anointing. He's the healing bomb of Gilead, and he's releasing his anointing that by his stripes you are healed. And in 1 uh, Peter 2.24, you were healed. Yes, Eileen, receive the healing fire of God right now. In Jesus' name, Jesus. and the fire going up and down your back, up and down your back. Up and down Hallelujah. your back. And I hear the word joy. The joy of the Hallelujah. Lord is strength. And the Lord is giving you a joy that not a lot of people have. And a lot of people, some people are bothered by your joy and your uniqueness and your laughter. You bring joy to other people. And then the Lord uses your joy to bring joy to other people and strengthen other people. But these people try to silence you because of your joy and who you are. For God says continue to be who you are because the joy of the Lord is your strength. Hallelujah. Fire of God. Thank you, Jesus. I give you praise, God. Thank you, Jesus. You Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> Thank you, Lord. Look at this. Thank you, Lord. <laughs> Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Wow. It will not hurt no more in Jesus' name. We break its power now by the power of God. Break in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Mm, thank you, Father. We give you praise, God, in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Mm, thank you, Father. Mm. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. He knows you, Eileen. He knows you. I don't know nothing. He knows you. <laughs> thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. It's gone. It's yes. Gone. Praise him. Hallelujah. Praise him. Hallelujah. Praise him. Praise him. He did it. Thank you, he did it. 
And Matthew, you're going to see stuff like this. You're going to see it more. God's going to says he's going to, you're going to see it more like never before. You're going to, God's going to have you bring people on here who are going to move in miracle signs and wonders and healing in healings. You're going to see healings and testimonies, radical testimonies, because God has given you the mountain of media. Mm. You are, you are, mm. God is giving you the mountain of media to knock down the false prophets of Baal that are in the media. Hallelujah. For you are an Elijah. Hallelujah. And Elijah said, mm, Where is the God of Elijah? He answers by fire. Hallelujah. Yes, and Lord. you are going to be used, and the people are going to bring on here to deal with the false prophets of Baal. Hey! Hallelujah. Glory the false God. prophets Hallelujah. of Baal will be silenced. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. For true prophetic voices are arising in this hour. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. People who stand in the council of God. Hallelujah. Not people who go and steal other prophecies. Hallelujah. Not people who steal other people's visions. People who spend time in the presence of God. Who, Jesus? Who spend Jesus. time hearing the voice of God. Who are priests ministering to God. And then they receive the word of the Lord. They release it as prophets. Hallelujah. The Lord is bringing these people to you, man of God. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Jesus. Hallelujah. Charlene. Jesus. What are you taking Hallelujah. away from tonight? Um, Hallelujah. Well, there was one person that asked for prayer for suicidal thoughts. And I yes. happened to see it. And her name's Maria. Oh, yes. yeah. I, I uh, saw her. So, there she Thank is. You, Lord. Yes, Maria. Mm, fire the enemy is a liar. Your life goodness. matters. Your life is important. You're needed. Hallelujah. Don't give in to the enemy's fire. Thank you, Lord. Don't do it. Thank you. Hallelujah. Don't do it. God has a plan and a purpose for you. A greater plan. And a greater, a greater plan. And I don't know what you're going through, and I don't know what the issue is that's causing you to have these feelings. Mm -hmm. But it's not. It's not the Lord. It's not his purpose for you. Thank you, Lord. He loves you. Yeah. He wants you to have a relationship with him. He mm -hmm. wants to bring fulfillment in your life. Thank you, Lord. Whatever it is that's going on, Thank you. it's not worth taking your life. It's not. Thank you, Lord. The Lord loves you. He sees Thank you. you. He hears you. He brought my attention to your message. He highlighted you and he said, I don't want her to do that. I don't want her to do that. I love her. And he just wanted you to know um, that he saw you and he hears your cry. You're not in this alone. You're not in this alone. He said, There's people walking alongside you, but I'm always with you and I'll never leave you. I'll never leave you. I never leave you. No matter what's going on, no matter what you're going through. He has not left you. He is not mad at you. He's not angry with you. He says, I love you. I love you. Yes. I love you. Father, I just in the name of Jesus, I I silence the suicidal voices in her head. I silence the suicidal voices. And I command that the voice of God is louder yes. and stronger and more powerful than all suicidal yes. voices in Maria's head in the name Thank of Jesus. Lord. We in declare complete Jesus. peace in Jesus' name. Yes, complete, complete peace. peace over her. Yeah. Complete peace all over her in Jesus' name. And we silence the voices uh, around her in Jesus' name. And we break the spirit of rejection up of her life. Mm. 
Hallelujah. Misun- being misunderstood. But I also see abuse. Abuse. May the spirit be destroyed by the power of God. Let the thunder of God consume it all. Now in Jesus' name and set her free. In Jesus' mighty name we yeah. pray. Yeah. Father, we thank I, you and we glorify yeah. your name. Yeah, I Hallelujah. see I see the wind. I see a wind of the Holy Spirit coming to blow the storm of suicide out of your mind. Yeah. Yes, God. I see the wind thank of you. the Lord coming to blow the storm of suicide out of your life tonight. Thank you, Lord. Tonight, Maria, it's coming right now. Just Hallelujah. I just it, it's coming right now. So I just Hallelujah. I release that wind and I command it to blow the suicidal thoughts, the suicidal tendencies. Lord God, I command to to rip it out, God. I thank you, Father, for blowing that suicidal spirit, Lord God, away out of her body. And I bind it and I command it to go now in the name of Jesus, never to be seen again, to be burned up by fire in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I decree and declare freedom over Maria's life right now in the name of Jesus. Freedom. Freedom right now in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Freedom, Lord. Freedom. Deliverance over her. Freedom, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Yes, Father. We thank you, God, for a changed life, Lord. I thank you, Father, that um, tonight is her encounter night. Hallelujah. Tonight is her encounter night, Lord. And I thank you, God, that through this encounter, God, I thank you for the testimony of a transformed life. Thank you, Lord. I thank you for the testimony of a transformed mm-hmm. life. Maria, I feel like I need to tell you that you need to go to bed tonight and sleep be, and be prepared when you go to sleep for an encounter with the Lord. Hallelujah. Be prepared Hallelujah. for an encounter with the Lord tonight when you go to sleep because he Hallelujah. desires to meet with you. Thank you, Lord. And he desires to sup with you. Thank and you. he desires for every thought in your head to be not suicidal. Thank you, Lord. But he desires mm-hmm. every thought in your head to be uh, praiseworthy. Hallelujah. Praiseworthy. Hallelujah. He desires every thought in your head Thank to be you, pure and honorable and peaceful. And and everything that, that I believe that verse in Philippians says, that's how he wants your thought life. Hallelujah. And I just decree and declare Romans 12 over you that through the laying down of your life, through the surrender of your life, will come the renewing of your mind. The renewing mm-hmm. of your mind in the name of Jesus. I quoted that a little bit Thanks, off, God. but I think it conveyed the principle. The renewing of your mind in the name of Jesus. When you in give it all to God, Jesus. God will renew your mind. Yes. When you give yeah. it all, when you give yeah. all your thoughts that are in your mind, when and when you yeah. give all your emotions to Christ, yeah. he will renew that mind and he will make, a, he, he will give you a brand new heart. Glory yeah. to God. Yeah, Thank Maria. You. I just I don't know if you do this, but I, I just had a I had like a quick vision and I saw a dance. The Lord wants you to dance, and as you're dancing, there's gonna be healing of that trauma. There's gonna be healing that's gonna happen. You might just break in tears because I see you right now. I'm seeing you breaking down in tears and dropping to your knees, and the Lord's bringing a healing as you're dancing okay. with the Lord. I, I think as uh, Zephaniah says that He sings over you and He quiets your spirit and He He dances over you. When you study about that dancing, that dancing is spinning. God spins. That's how radically in love he is for you. He spins around for you. It's a radical praise. And the Lord the Lord wants you to tell you he wants to dance with you. It's funny because this year, the Lord gave me that word for, for this year. is the year of the dance of the Lord. For 2021 was the year of the dance of the Lord. So it just reminded me. Dance with the Lord. Let him take the leading. Surrender your leading. And let him lead you in the dance, in the rhythm, in the step that he's taking you. Because different dances, wow. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Different different dances require uh, more rapid movements. Some are slower. Yeah. And God wants to do a slow, a, uh, a two-step, a deeper level dance. Slow down. God wants you, God says, slow down. He wants you to slow down. You've been going, 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 going like the Energizer Bunny, but the Lord wants you to slow down. And as you slow down, he's going to start uh, touching your heart because a surgeon cannot work on a patient that's moving. It's easier for a surgeon to be working on somebody when they're resting and, and, yeah. and they're in that an, they're an anesthesia, I think it's called, and they're able to rest and they're able to do the surgery that needs to be done. So God wants you to rest so he can work within you. 
Amen. Thank Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Lord. I, wanna, Thank you. I, wanna, I love. I love that that you said slow down. Can I? We. Just, I want to close yes. with a song. Do you think it can work <laughs> if I play a song on Spotify? Yes. Try. It. Yes, oh, you can also okay. play it on. We'll use a Streamyard. You can also play it on YouTube if you okay. wanted to. Mm -hmm. Just give me half a sec here. I got to bring up the song. Hallelujah. So this look, song look came to mind as uh, as um, um, Wilmer was talking to uh, Maria about slowing down. And I think mm -hmm. it's really an awesome song. So I just want to close with this song tonight. So in this final uh, six minutes and 30 seconds, mm -hmm. that's how long the song is. Thank you. Uh, just uh, take some time. Six minutes and, and 6.33. Uh, Seek first and, the kingdom of the blood of Jesus. And uh, just, uh, just enjoy the, just, just bask in this for a few minutes. May you receive rest from on high. May you receive rest up from on high, Maria. Glory to God. Receive this in Hallelujah. Jesus' name. All right, here we go. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Receive his peace, glory to God. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. 
Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Give it all to God. Hallelujah. Every thought in your mind, surrender them to Him. Hallelujah. And every emotion in your heart, release it all to Him. Hallelujah. And He will renew your mind, and give you a brand new heart. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hey, Hamburi Hilala Nasa. The Father is covering you with his arms right now, Maria. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Will you please go? So just really quickly before we get off of here, how can people share that song with, on there, Mind? With Charlene LaRock. <laughs> Hallelujah. How can people get in touch with you? Oh, um I my Facebook page, um pretty much is or they can email me at um glory sprinkler at yahoo.com. <laughs> I like that. That's awesome. How about Alba? How can they get in touch with Alba? It's my mm -hmm. Facebook page. And they will see me in many events, other events with Pioneer Ministries and as the Lord leads, glory to God. Amen. And Greg Gill too, right? <laughs> yes. Praise God. What about Mr. Navarro? You've been such a blessing. What, where can people get in touch with you? Um, my Facebook profile is Wilmar yeah. Fernando Navarro, as you see it here. Uh, I do have a Facebook page that I created not too long ago, um, Marco Love Ministry. And my email is Marco Love Ministry at uh, gmail.com. And I do also have Marco Love Ministry.com. Are you on? Is that on Facebook too? Yeah. The, the, yeah. the page is, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. And uh, I think everybody knows how they can get a hold of me right here, Fire and Water Ministries, or look me up on Facebook. Yes. Uh, as uh, my name says, Matthew yeah. Nicholson. Um, and uh, it's been an honor and a pleasure to be with all three of these guests, including the other three that were on here before as well, including Tim Kenner and uh, uh, you, Lance, Lance Gilliland. And um, mm -hmm. just thank you all for your contributions. I can tell, I can say with, mm -hmm. uh, with uh, sincerity of heart that I don't do these for me. Amen. Um, I do them for people like you. Amen. Thank you. Not Lord. about me on these broadcasts at all. It's about Amen. got people bringing, having people like you guys on that have gifts and talents and, and uh, uh, 
and glory to sprinkle on others. Yes. And, um, yeah. and so uh, I just bless all three of you. I bless everyone watching uh, tonight. And uh, I'm going to come back probably not till after Christmas with more people and more guests. And uh, hopefully I can make spark a more regular occurrence because uh, COVID kind of, kind of snuffed it out there for a while. <laughs> so uh, right. no more though. COVID's not snuffing out any more sparks. And I'm tell you right now in the name of Jesus, it, it, okay. it, it it's, it's a, so it was moment right now in Jesus name. So uh, thank mm -hmm. you, father. Thank you. Thank you everybody. And uh, you guys all have a great, a great, a great night. And, uh, and uh, God bless. God bless. Keep See you later. Up. I'm God, bless you you all. Shalom in God Jesus bless you all. <laughs> May God bless you all. And keep Ooh. Oh. <laughs> I guess I moved Elba too quick. Uh -oh. <laughs> Just don't go away. Don't go away. Thank you, everybody. Have a great night. God bless you. Keep the fires burning. <laughs>